What's up, guys? Welcome to a new episode of Talk of Figures. As always, I am Tony. Uh, I am very proud to bring this guest to you today. Um, quite frankly, he's one of the guys, is basically the reason I started this show, because I wanted to meet him in person and pick his brain. Um, you can see his amazing work over on his YouTube channel, Spider Boy Studios, or just Spider Boy 16. Um, Spider Boy 16 Studios. Uh, there you'll see one of the most concise, well thought out, and consistent Marvel storylines I think I've ever seen, bar none. Uh, his stop motion work is top notch, and, and it only gets better with every single episode I watch. So I am so proud to bring this guy to you today, all the way from his spider cave, the one and only Spider Boy 16. Welcome to the show, bud. Appreciate it, man. Honest. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, like I said, let me just get this out the way. Uh, I always say this to my guests. There's a reason why I brought you on here. Um, I suffer from a lot of stuff mentally, the anxiety, depression, and stuff like that. So when I went, when uh, the pandemic happened and I got into the whole YouTube hole, yeah, your stuff got me, got me through a lot of stuff. Man. It, it gave me inspiration to kind of do this or get into this kind of content making stuff. So I've always yeah. wanted to say... To, to people's faces who've inspired me, thank you so much, man, because you really, your work means a lot to me. And I watch it religiously. Every every time you got a new one coming out, I always watch it, but. Oh, man, oh, hey, I appreciate that. Honestly, like, you, I thought, oh, man. Oh. <laughs> I, like, I, I don't want, I usually kind of, you know, zhuzh this up to make them, you know, to make you feel comfortable because the questions are going to come at you pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. oh, no, I'm, I'm always ready for questions. All right, so. My first question, and I've been dying to ask this one of you. <laughs> um, I have a lot of toy collectors on this show. So guys collect, usually put them on the shelf and stuff like that. Um, but I've always wanted to ask stop motion guys. You're the first stop motion uh, uh, creator I've had on this show. So I'm very excited to have you on here. Um, your toy collection, is it because you started collecting toys or do you just buy toys for the films that you're making? Oh, oh no. That's the thing. I'm, oh, man. I think... Very first toy I ever had, Tobey Maguire, uh, that that figure, the movie figure. That okay, the right on. Um, literally, that's where my toy hunting started. With it started with, and it's kind of funny too, because I started with the old Toby figure, and, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> I started started with the old Toby figure, and it's kind of weird. Now I got now I got this. The one. new one, the nice one. That's a really nice one too. Yeah, love this figure. And so yeah. I don't know. It's kind of, it's kind of like, almost like trying kind of like that full circle type of thing. Because when I bought, when that figure was like bought and I had it in my hand, I'm like, I'm like, wow. Like it's it's crazy how because it's like this is what that this is literally the figure where it started. It started yeah. here, and then next thing you know, to, uh, toy biz. I was collecting. No, see, I was born in I was born in 2000. So oh, so you're you're a very young man. <laughs> yeah, I had, a chance, I had a chance to experience like the toys of then, and yeah. then having a chance to experience the toy of like now. Oh yeah, so, oh yeah. I don't know. It, it, that's just where it started. The Tobey Maguire. Oh, that's awesome. So you've been collecting for a while. Yeah, yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been collecting for a nice little minute. Now, do you do you stick to the no. do you stick to the realm of Marvel or is it all over? Oh no, I got. I got Marvel. I got some DC. Mortal okay. Combat. Awesome. Got, yeah. Then I got some good WWE leaks as well because I do plan on starting. Um, I plan to start doing WWE content as well. So oh, you know. right on, right up my alley. I like that, dude. Yeah, I do start. I, I got. I got like a whole literally like the first episode I'm gonna do is gonna be Royal Rumble. I'm gonna kick it. Hell off. yeah! All right, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna kick it off hot. I, I, I like literally. I didn't already wrote down like who's in the rumble. I already wrote down the the, the one through thirty. Oh I hell got, yeah! I got like the pre-show matches. I'm gonna have like four different <laughs> matches to start off the episode. <laughs> <laughs> right on, dude. Hell yeah! Before we get to that, because I am now you've opened up a whole can of worms <laughs> with that. But before we get there, um, yeah. so now that you just told me that you do have multiple lines and things of that nature. Uh, when you're doing your stop motion, because I notice it's a, a very continuous Marvel story. Do you ever have you ever plan on maybe crossing universes over, or you always just stick Marvel is Marvel, DC is DC, WWE is WWE? 
Yeah, like yeah. okay, that's, okay. I don't know. And that's another thing too. I've had people ask me like, "Hey, Spider Boy, are you ever going to do Marvel meet DC?" Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I would love to do that. I would love to do that. But at the same time, it's like me. I like to keep it where Mar- it's DC's DC and Marvel is Marvel. But at the same time, like I said, you know, I'm really grateful for every single last subscriber. So. I'm will I'll be I'm willing in my heart to give what they want to see. If they want to see that, hey, I'll give it to them. I have no problem doing that. Hell yeah. But honestly, though, I would rather keep it within its own group. But like I said, at the same time, hey, if they want to see it, I'll do it. I'll you give it like, a shot. Yeah, I'll uh-huh. do like a Marvel as DC, where you know Brainiac and and maybe, oh, damn, I can't do Darks. I can't do uh, I can't do Terrax because you already know Terrax is dead in my universe. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, maybe I'll do like. Brainiac and and Dormammu, you know, Ooh, just something, something like yeah. The Avengers and the and the Justice League come together and take it. Down. I don't know. Yeah, the right, brain, right. You know? That's a that. Listen, I like the way your mind works. But yeah. let me let me get to now to this question. Obviously, this is the obligatory question coming right at you. Is uh, what was the first uh, step in getting in start started with stop motion? Like, did you see stop motion? Say. I want to give this a shot. Were you holding your action figures one afternoon and was like, yo, these articulate pretty good. I can make a really good film with them. Well, what was the genesis of, of Spider-Boy 16 uh, Studios? Uh, well, that's the thing. Before it was, be, before it was Spider-Boy 16 Studios, my name was the, the Immortal Scorpion. Oh, okay. Uh, and, oh man, but, but it, and, uh, the, the inspiration or the start, it, it came from Robot Chicken. Crazy, crazy. Oh, my God. It was it was one of them, you know, them late nights, like one, two in the morning, adult swimming zone, robot chicken pop on. And I saw this Spider Man skit and it was where he was like getting all like bullied and it was just it was funny, but at the same time I was like, I know I can do that and I know I can do a serious um, Yeah. Uh, you know, so I kind of just took the comedic out of Robot Chicken and kind of looked at the whole aspect of stop motion itself. And, oh man, the, the very first wave, because like I said, I at some point I did stop collecting figures and then I started back. And when I started back, the first wave I got was that Hob got the wave. Oh, I think I know exactly which one you're talking about because that's the kind of one that got me into it. Yeah, it was the Builder figure Hob got the wave. Man. So, um, that was literally the first wave I got, and then that's when I made like a few. I made that that um, it's on my channel. It's still on my channel too. But I made like a Spider Verse trailer. Didn't even do that film. I did a whole new Spider Verse. But yeah, that's where it started. Robot Chicken. It started Robot Chicken. Right on, dude. So now, when you when you started doing it, you knew that it was always going to be just a Marvel universe, and you're going to start with Spider Man and things of that nature. Yeah, like yeah, when I started it, um. I knew I'm like yeah I don't think I'm I'm gonna do any brand crossovers but I like, like I said I, hey I'm open to do it. Oh yeah hell yeah. At the time though I was like nah, I don't think I'm gonna do any yeah. brand cross. Yeah. Uh, how many pictures do you usually take in one scene? Oh man, um, usually. Oh man, that's a, oh man. Usually a, a scene will probably be maybe. I don't know. It, it depends on the scene. Because if, if it's a talk scene, the talk scene will probably be around maybe 50 or so frames. And like, but like, honestly, like, the way how I film, I film in portions. So like, I film like a 10 minute portion. Okay. And a 10 portion will be like 3,000, almost 4,000 frames. And I would just take that portion, save it into my drive, film the next portion, just kind of repeat that process. And by the end of the, I, I would say by the end of the couple of weeks, Cause I, I, that'd be almost like a 30 minute, 40 minute film just already right there. Cause I would have filmed, I would have filmed four, I would have filmed four 10 minute portions and then just combined it all. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Yeah. So now what made you go with the, with the, uh, connecting storylines? Like, are you a big fan of comic books and stuff like that? Yeah, exactly. It okay. Came from comic books, literally. Right on, dude. And um, and then a lot. And then I remember when I first started doing that. Um, I had a lot of people tell me like, "Yo, that's a really smart way to have people go watch what's next because it is. Could, it is, by the way." Oh man! Like literally, when I when I 
work when I was working on my phase one, and I and I filmed. Oh man, what's the first film in phase one? The first film in phase one, it wasn't even Spider Man. Honestly, it was um, I think it was like it was Thor. Uh, it okay. Was Thor. Yeah. And so I filmed Thor, and then Captain America happened afterwards. I mean, you probably know how Captain America started. It's kind yeah. of where we last saw Thor. That's yeah. where that started, and then people people loved it. Like people were like, "Yo, that's that's really smart how you had to connect." Because it's feel like I'm, I'm it feel like I'm watching and reading the comic. Because I'm I'm really huge on like comics. Like, Comic really books, huge. right on. Um, you can really tell when you um just just because the way you have it connected, and it's yeah. like well, get ready to see this in this film. That you got coming yeah. up, so it, it really builds a great anticipation. Because, like I said, I remember the one you did, uh, where where it all leads to Galactus. Yeah. And I just yeah. was like, oh man, this is really awesome. I, like he's he's got me amped. He's got me amped for for, for, the, for the Galactus, man. So I, I just loved the fact that you did that, and and I'm glad that I'm not the only one that people were a big fan of it. Because, like I said, it just keeps you um it keeps you engaged in it from episode to episode because you want to see what happens next. So yeah, kudos, man. Great, great job, for real. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like I said, I'm really big on comics, so it's like every film that I've done was based off a of comic, Marvel comic, in some sort of way. Um, and what really kind of really, what really put because at first, at first, my universe was gonna be based off the MCU. I was gonna base okay. it off the MCU, but then, oh man, I did a live stream one day, and I got the most heart-wrenching comment in my live stream because I was sitting there comparing um, I was I was comparing the builder figure the armored builder figure Thanos the movie uh, okay and I was comparing it to my comic book deluxe Thanos okay and I kind of had them just side by side and I was saying I like the comic book one more if the colors on it popped um, just probably just the deluxe Thanos comes with Thanos I love that figure a lot I, I, I agree with you, by the way. Yeah. I <laughs> like, man, that comes with Thanos is nice. I, the only thing I wish they would have gave that Thanos, I wish they would have made it a two-pack and they would have threw in a really good articulated Mistress Death. Yeah. That's a figure I don't have, at least in, like, it's the Diamond Select. Well, I've seen that one, but, like, I want an articulated, you know, really good articulated Mistress Death. Hell yeah. But, um, but uh, the comment that I got was, um, it was it was a little kid saying, "Oh, I don't really like the comics that much. I like I prefer the movies." And I was like, "No," because yeah. it's like, don't get me wrong, the MCU movies they're they're good. I love the hey, I, God, they do they too they too tend tend to stray away from the source material. <laughs> they 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 water down a lot of the heroes in the movie, so yeah. it's like. It's like I was like, like I said, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. He's doing his thing over there, but ah, the characters are too watered down for my life. Yeah, I agree so, with you, for real. But that's when I kind of started shifting. I'll say, you know what? It's early in it's early in the phase. It's just phase one. Nothing will seem too weird or out of place. So I say, you know what? Phase two, straight comic book stories. Literally, Rise of Modok. That's every film was based off a of story in some sort of way. I tried to make it so it would, you know, I, I, it, it worked out. People, I think, honestly, people sit here and tell me that um, Rise of Modoc is their favorite phase. That's phase two. That was a good one. Like I said, yeah. I, I remember finding you. It was an accident because I, I go down, I went down a, a hole because I got big into collecting in, in like 2016. Now I'm much older than you. So yeah. I remember the action figures where they had no articulation. It was just four points, essentially. Remember? Obviously, yeah. so to see these now, it was the Juggernaut wave for me. I saw Wolverine. It was Wolverine's my favorite X Men? Obviously, my favorite co co combo character in general. Um, so yeah. when I saw him, I was just like, "This is what they do now." <laughs> and my buddy was who collects him. He's like, "Yeah, that's what they do now." And I just off the cliff I went. But I felt like I take everything out of package. Like I don't like to leave anything in package unless it's really like, you know, um, like sought out or like rare. Um, so I like to, and I, you know, I, I told people this so many times, I don't care what it sounds like. I like to play with my toys. I like to play with them. So I started going down rabbit holes and that's how I found you. I went down, can you do stop motion? I was thinking in my head, you gotta be able, they, they articulate enough. And I went down and I found you, you were one of the first guys I found. And I said, 
well now. <laughs> and I just watched the first one that came up. I can't tell you right now because I, I, you know, uh, listen, I take a little bit of uh, herbal medication. So my short term memory isn't what it should be. <laughs> so um, uh, I remember watching it and going, this is what I want. I like the seriousness of it. I like that it wasn't silly because like Robot Chicken, while it's funny, is tend to be like, all right, it's too silly. You know, so when I was watching, it's like, this is exactly what I kind of want to do. I like what he's got going on here. And then I just started back cataloging all your stuff. And I was just right. like, yo, this guy's got a, an amazing universe. And then all of a sudden, you know, subscribe and then notify me every single time he's got a new story coming out because I got to follow what he's got coming out next. You know, so it was kind of like that for me. And I just was like, oh, this guy is so good at connecting the stories. I was like, this is amazing, man. Like, amazing, dude. And like originally, I'm just thinking like the creativity is amazing. Like how you make things work, it's just and that's what we're gonna get to now. Is my next question for you. And it's how long is your editing process? Um, how long? Um, like from from done taking pictures, throwing it on a computer or a phone, however you do it. Um, what software do you use? And do you go back and reshoot anything or is it just kind of like, I'm going to make sure I get everything first before I start editing. So like, what's the whole process in post-production? Right. Yeah. Um, uh, honestly, editing process, like, like literally once I'm done, uh, it's crazy too, man. Cause it's like, okay. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll film the first portion, depending on, I usually write it down. Cause sometimes I'll say, okay, portion one, two, three, and then I do like a question mark, like maybe four. Um, and what I'll do is I'll film the first portion. The first portion will probably be like 10 minutes long. Yeah. I'll, um, I'll finish filming that portion, then I'll edit that portion. Okay. And then get on over to CapCut, or, or sometimes I'll send it to my Google Drive just to make sure that, you know, my phone update and I don't lose footage. Yeah. I'll do that. And then um, and just, I'll just repeat that process. Okay. And so I'm kind of just like editing within the portions, like kind okay. of like that. Now, yeah. do you use uh, like a stop motion software for you? Like where I have like the onion skin thing. Do you use that? What, what program do you use? It, um, the It's the app I use. Okay. It's stop motion pro. That's oh, I mean. it's because that's what I have too. I was just making sure. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. yeah like Studio pro. That's why I do all the, that's why I do all the filming. Yeah. And, like and or if I need to add in like photos, that's that's what I use. Um, but when it comes to like the visual editing, some like it depends on who the character. Like if this is a Spider-Man film, um, the webbing I just draw it in Stop Motion Studio, okay, and then just add the sound effect in Stop Motion Studio. Yeah, and then if that, if I need to do like a like let's say if Goblin throws a pumpkin bomb and it blows up, I'll do that in Capcom, like the bigger okay visual effect. Okay. All that in yeah. okay right on dude because I, I like the process man i dig it because i i do I, I edit for a living so that's kind of what, what i do I, I do i was telling you before we started i do a, a, we do live pro wrestling so i do a lot of stuff in independence on on the east coast um and some like mma and, and mixed martial and mixed like kickboxing things like that um but I'm a, i went to film school and i really love filmmaking but yeah. i just really not into making movies with people so that, like I said, that was another reason that led me to stop motion is because I love, right. you know, I can work with toys and I love telling stories. I love writing. So it was just like one of those things where uh, uh, it, it just kind of was like peanut butter and jelly. And I use a lot of like the, like I, I use Adobe and Final Cut Pro and things of that nature. And I just love, like like I said, I was watching what you got. Where do you like, this is a question I've been dying to ask you. <laughs> Your footsteps sound effect. It, it, where did you find that? It, it like every time I, I look, I've been looking for that because it reminds me of like anime. Oh, uh, uh, the, the footstep sound effects, like when they're just walking, that's in the app. Like it's in. The, oh, okay. And yeah, it's in the app, and it's the the, the name of the sound is literally footsteps. Steps. That's the name. <laughs> so, um. It's weird because I stumbled upon that sound because I was on YouTube searching up walkie. And yeah. Like, no, there's literally no video 
where it sounded how I needed the footsteps to the sound. sound. Okay. If you ever need, if you ever need a shortcut for that, if you ever need a shortcut for that, uh, go to free yeah. freesound dot org, and they have a Freesound. they have a lot of 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 foley footsteps and all that kind of stuff that you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. Man, and see, that's the thing. Oh, um, uh, like I, for the longest time, like man, there's no footsteps that sound how I need it. So the closest thing that sounded good to me was that, and I'm like, oh, it's in the app, perfect. Yeah, dude. I, it, that, every time I hear it, it's like sino- your your films are synonymous with those footsteps. You just can't, can't you can't find those anywhere. Yeah. So whenever you whenever I hear them, yeah. I'm like, that's a Spider Boy movie. <laughs> every time I hear it, <laughs> every time. <laughs> uh, and and also the um, the opening to all your films. Like whenever I'm, I'm, I'm like, cause I put you, I, I push you on a lot. Like when I'm going to sleep, like I'll lay in bed and I'll like put it on. I'll just rewatch a lot of your stuff. And that's oh, yeah. that signature beginning at the, at the beginning when my, when my wife is sleeping, like it always, it always wakes her up and she always looks like a spider boy. Like she, she always knows what I'm watching because of that, because of that opening signature. <laughs> it's so, yeah. Man, man, it's, it's crazy. Cause it's like. The opening, the opening, oh man, I don't know, I, I love that opening. And then yeah. the music that I, it's the opening music is literally just the PS4 Spider-Man theme song, just slowed and reverbed a little bit. Um, right on, dude. I was, I was meaning to ask you about that. I was meaning to ask you about that. I was meaning to ask you about that song. Because I was like, wow, that song, it, it sounds familiar, but you kind of made it your own. Very well done. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It's just the the PS4 Spider Man theme song slowed, and um, I, like I said, I, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I would even catch myself like singing it my own. Like <laughs> I was like, wow, that's that's. Crazy. But um, but yeah, yeah, yeah intro. I, there's there's even been times where I've thought about um like changing the intro. I'm gonna keep the song, but like I'm gonna change the the production. I don't know. I'm still brainstorming. Yeah, um, listen, you never stop growing, dude. I don't know. I mean. You never stop growing. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, always, yeah. yeah, you're always looking to get better, man. Um, so let me ask you this: What was so far? Because you got yourself a big catalog on on again, as I told you before, Spider Boy 16 on YouTube or Spider Boy 16 Studios. You'll definitely find, like I said, just a catalog of his his amazing Marvel stop motion. Yeah. Um, what what has been your favorite story to tell so far? Oh man favorite story to tell like just in a phase in general or like just singular film just a singular film that when you were done with it you were like yo this this was my I, I killed it I love this one I got like a I'm glad you asked this because this is crazy I've got like a legit top I got a top 10 but I'll give you like the top 5 right on um, hell yeah uh, number 1 Shang-Chi that was a very good movie. Number one, Shang-Chi. I think with Shang-Chi, I love that film so much because I do, I like, I train a little bit and I do a little Wing Chun. So that film kind of resonated from just off what I know off of it and then what I've seen in movies. And then yeah. just, me, just me learning and knowing of Shang-Chi because I know that's a, that's a character that that kind of got discontinued back in the day, and then they kind of they kind of start him back up. Yeah, yeah. So I know that's a character that not people know about unless you like really are in the comics or you read his comics of that time. Yeah. See, that's the thing about me, man. My Marvel knowledge goes as far as back as those older comics just because, like, I I lo- I love comics. I love reading them, and like, there's just no better way to just unwind and kind of enter a new world of just comics. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Um, that's the crazy thing too, and just kind of sidetracking. I, I plan on doing a part two to Shang Chi, and I'm gonna I'm call it um, uh, Shang Chi Deadly Hands. That's a that's a comic that I've got sitting in my comic book collection right here. Hell yeah. Um, I'm a I'm a read that story and then type out the script from the page. Literally, I just turn the page, type the script. I type the words. That's really I type the script. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, 
And that's literally what I do. Um, the second film, I would have to say Moon Knight. That's another film. That that's I a very really good one. Enjoy. Yeah, I love that film. Um, I, I really want to make a Moon Knight 2. The only problem is they didn't make Bushman. They didn't make, like, Moon Knight his enemy enemy. Yeah. Um, but I, I do have a substitute for it. I am going to do, uh, I am going to have Despair. Okay. Kind of tussle with Moon Knight. I do the sequel. Um, let me see. The third film was the third film. I'm going a, I'm to a have to say, uh, I'm going to have to say Invincible Iron Man. That's a good one. I do like that. I, I, Iron Man is one. Of, I, Iron Man is up there. But Wolverine is my favorite character. So when you did that, I was I was ready. I was sitting there on the edge of my seat, but yeah. for real. <laughs> now, Weapon, yeah, Weapon X, Wolverine, Wolverine. Oh man, Weapon X, Wolverine. I love that film. That's good too. I would have to put. I would, that would have to be the fourth one. Honestly. I really enjoyed that film. Um, and that film was just a combination of like, we were really no, it was really just um, Wolverine's origin. Basically, that's basically what that was. And kind of just how he was part of. I kind of, and I also had a little inspiration from uh, uh, X Men Origins Wolverine film. Yeah. I kind of had a little inspiration from that film. But yeah, really, it was really wrapped. That was really wrapped around Wolverine's origin. And then uh, the fifth film, the fifth film is the Spider Man film that I did. It's um, uh man, it's the uh, it's the one I did. I think it's a yeah, uh, Craven's first hunt. That's the other okay. one that I really enjoy. That's the other one I really enjoy. Now, when it um, comes to when it comes to because of Spider Man and flying figures, do you have armatures? Do you use wire? What is exactly the setup there oh, yeah. for setting up the the flying um, figures? Yeah, with the flying figures, the flying characters, I just use wire or a wire hanger. I just unwrap just until I get like some figure stands. That's yeah, what I mean. wire. And wire, and I just kind of unravel them. Yeah, uh, you know, kind of just shape them into a hook, and hey, then they go there. That works, I, dude. Hey man, that works. Like I said, just I, I always try to, um, because like when I, like I said, when I started this to get guys like you on the show, I wanted to kind of pick your brain and just kind of see your process, because I feel like sometimes right. someone is trying to get into this, but they really don't know how to do those certain kind of things, and listening to the pros might kind of be like, oh my god, I never thought of it that way, you know. So and it's like I. I kind of have the idea of the armature wire, kind of like how you have it, because I do that too. I'm like, you know, I'll go get the expensive stuff later. I don't really, you know, right now I can kind of work with what I got, you know. So it's it's always good to see other people's processes, man. So I've been, like I said, some of these questions, I'm sorry they come at you with lightning fire, because they pop into my head, because I remember now watching your stuff, and I'm like, how the fuck did he do that? <laughs> Every time. Like, <laughs> Uh, this take me back to when I was first starting. I swear, phase one, I had I had questions for, for years. People would just be having questions, like, and some of them would be like, "Oh, what's what's next? What do you got next? What's next?" Um, and oh man, and then the questions really flowed in when I got to the end of phase one and I did my end game. Yeah, man, questions questions was going through the roof because. I don't. I don't remember how I ended it off in game, but as you know, I always put an end credit scene to show how what's it going into. Yeah. And literally, when I think, I think, oh man, I don't remember how I introduced Phase Two, but I know I had a bunch of questions come in, like, like, oh man, like, like, what's about to happen? <laughs> what is most plan? Like, what's going on? Like, people just had questions. Hell yeah, dude. I was just overwhelmed with the questions. Overwhelmed. But that must got that's gotta um, make you feel good because that means they're all engaged and they wanna know what's coming. Yeah. You know? Hey, if they're asking questions, I'm doing something right, I'm exactly. doing something good. They're you know, they're yeah. enjoying one hundred percent. Now uh now since you you told me your favorite stories, what I I noticed you kinda do a lot of the voices on on these shows and movies. What is your what how many have you done? You can name them by character. And so far, out of all the ones you've done, what has been your favorite voice to to uh, to do? Oh, man. Literally, I have done every voice from 
from Spider-Man to Miles to Cap to Cyclops, Goblin, Venom, Wolverine. I, I, I've done all. But I think the one that I've had, I've had the most fun with and the one that's probably my favorite is Wolverine, T'Challa, you know? Um, Wolverine, T'Challa, Venom, Miles, and I really love voicing um, Doctor Strange and Charles Xavier a lot. I really right love voicing them. Those are like, I think, in my opinion, those two voices are the ones where, I can, where I'm able to soften my tone and have like a smooth professor type teacher tone. If that, you know, if that makes no, sense. No, I got you. Yeah, really Latin. Like, you could tell that you switch it up a lot. And I will say this to you, and I don't want to blow smoke up your ass because I think I've done that enough already. <laughs> but uh, your Spider-Man voice to me, because I watch it so much, is now like a right. synonymous with Spider-Man. So whenever I like, oh, if I read a comic Spider-Man or something like that, or I see like a Spider-Man f- uh, f- a photograph, I immediately think of your like, your voice well, yeah. voicing him. So yeah, and that's that's crazy too because those are the those are the voices that I've I've been asked to voice before. Like people say, hey, can you voice my Miles? Yeah. And can you voice my my Wolverine? And those I know those are the two that I get asked to like do. Like usually I, I don't have time to say yeah or no because I'd be like doing my own thing. Like, yeah, exactly. But so, yeah, I know. But honestly, Wolverine, I know those are the voices. Wolverine and Miles, but mainly Wolverine. People ask me to do Wolverine a lot. He like um, I said, you're very talented when it comes to the voice acting, for real, dude. Well, yeah, that's a hey, that's literally from. Four years of acting school, acting class in high school, and it and like I I did acting, but like when like whenever we had free time, we had a booth in our acting like class, and I would just go in there. All oh, right on. And I I would literally just be doing voices, like just to kind of just improve to like. So really, my channel was like my channel was manifesting in high school, and I guess I finally took the initiative. When I graduated, that's when I uh-huh. took the initiative to start. You know, um, yeah, man, oh, man, yeah, voice acting. I think that's probably one of the most fun things. I love doing that. When I'm done, if, if there isn't anything else I love doing, I think it's the voice, voice acting. acting. Now, when you do find time, would you be willing to do other people's uh, uh, projects as whatever whatever they ask, whether these Spider Man, Wolverine, whoever? Oh yeah, oh yeah, no, yeah, I most definitely because I have done, I have done. Other people. Oh, they're saying, okay, like right on. Yeah. One person wanted me to voice Electro, but they wanted me to do Amy Fox. And I did that for someone. Okay. Uh, I did a, yeah, I did another person's uh, Wolverine. Hell yeah. I did a, did one person's Miles. And I think that's all I can think of off the top of my head. Those are, the, those are the three of that I know I did, like off the top of my head. Yeah, yeah. right on, dude. I, like I said, I, I, I do like your voice. And we'll get to, to that in a, in a little later because obviously I want to talk to you about all that stuff from my perspective and what I'm doing on my channel. So I'm going to just say it because yeah. I got a couple more questions for you. Uh, what has been your favorite toy to pose? Is it, I'm assuming, Spider-Man because he usually has the most articulation? Um, Spider-Man, he, he's up there. But, like, the one... Oh, man. <laughs> okay, like I'm looking because it's a few of them. It's a few of them. <laughs> it's, it's a few, and I, that's the thing too. I know off the top of my head because it's like I don't know. My brain it works so crazy. Like I, I'm able to hold information in. Um, hey man, that's good. But, Go ahead, man. Take a look. This figure. This figure here. Uh, the builder figure. Uh, oh, figure. see, yes, yes. This figure is fun to pose. Um, like, like, us uh, and words can't even describe how much fun I have. Like, posing as an owl lizard. I'm still trying to Man. complete him. I, I, um, because I, I think this was one of his things. The Spider-Man Noir, right? That that toy came with one of his arms or something. And that toy, yeah. that toy is like impossible to find. So now I'm like on a, on an all out search on all the secondary markets to try to find, I think an arm and a leg. And then I finally had yeah. them completed. 
he, oh man, yeah, no, but that that figure, yeah, no, that figure is fun to pose. Um, That's awesome. Another figure that is fun to pose, I would have to say my renew my renew your vows, um, Spider Man. Yeah, right. Didn't. I a lot of people are a lot of people put that Spider Man over as a like one of the best ones. Yeah. yeah. I, I love this figure. This figure is really fun to pose. Um even the um that's another another figure. The uh the Deadpool from the Deadpool and Bob two pack. I got okay. that two pack. And I love the Deadpool articulation from that pack. Um another figure is the is the Wolverine figure from that apocalypse wave. I love posing that figure. Yeah, me too. And oh, and then the the retro carded um black suit, Spidey. Yeah, everybody loves that Spidey man. Yeah, retro, yeah the retro carded black suit. Love, love that figure. Yeah, th- those are getting th- th- those retro card Spider Man seem to be like highly regarded now as like the best posable. Because even Scarlet Spider, all of them, they're all getting high grades in terms of like posability and things of like that. Yeah, nature. it's crazy too because be- before the retro carded were so called deemed the best Spider Man figures. Hmm. The piece of Spider Man was the one that everybody was saying, Oh, this is the best figure. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's that. <laughs> and, like, and, and it's crazy. It's crazy, too, because I was one of those people who was saying, I'm like, Yo, this is Spider Man. Best Spider Man figure ever made. Yeah. <laughs> Don't care what. And then they come out with the retro card, and I'm like, Oh, got to take that back. back this yeah. is best Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. For real, like, for real. figures I had. Like, older, like, but hey, it's, hey. <laughs> yeah, I said, I'm out. Let me, uh, so let me ask you this one. Um, what are some of the uh, pitfalls of stop motion? Do sometimes you get frustrated because it takes so much time? Do you ever mess up and miss some uh, shots that you think you should have gotten? Um, is it hard to post certain figures where you're just like, oh, Jesus, this is gonna be a long day? Yeah, um, yeah, some, some, some of the figures. They are a hassle to stand. Like, oh my goodness. Um, let me think. Like, well, let me say that. Majority of the figure, the majority of the figures that I have, there most of them are Hasbro. I got a few toy biz. Okay. Um, but even, even some of the Hasbro's are hard to kind of poke. Like, um, the Medusa, that that figure, that figure is really hard to kind of. Maneuver, okay. but like thankfully enough, she on hair, so it kind of I can use like her hair as like a stand. Stand, yeah. And then, yeah, and then thankfully enough, I can get good shots of where, um, like you can just see like the you know the chest up and like this, so where they don't have to see her standing on her hair, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, like, <laughs> it, yeah. So figures like that, it's kind of hard to because it's like they got narrow feet. And that's kind of like the irritating thing. Like, yeah. oh, man. like even when, even when I was filming uh, Captain America: New World Hydra, the that Sharon Carter figure was was literally irritating me because her feet are so weirdly narrow, and so it's like, man, I can't take this no more. I'm, I got to get that Sharon Carter from that three pack that they got coming out. Like, I can't. oh yeah, I got that. I, I I can't wait till it comes. They just shipped that from Big Bad for me. I just ordered that three pack. Man, like, yeah. Yeah. So my last question in terms of, in, in, okay. So my last question in terms of stop motion. My last question in terms of stop motion. Yeah. Uh, somebody comes up to you on the street, says, "Hey, man, Spider Boy 16. Um, I'm really wanting to get into it. What uh, what advice could you give me? How should I get started? And uh, where do I go?" Oh man. Oh yeah, I, that's another question I get. Yeah, like this, this is uh, this is another question I get too. Like, oh, Spider Boy, how do I start? How do I start? Where do I start? Um, usually, this is the usual answer that I would say. I would say, just start off doing fights versus fights, because everybody know like I, I did versus fights where I just take I would take two characters. Okay. And like, you know, you got. But the characters make sense. You know, you can't have Daredevil out here fighting Terax or Daredevil <laughs> out here fighting you know, who's strong. You know, yeah. you got to make sure the characters and, and just make them two characters fight. That, and that really helped me out with a lot of, like, fight scenes because I remember my fight scenes short. 
So doing the doing that versus fight series that I had going, it helped me extend my fights. Also, it kind of it also helped me learn the hero's fighting styles so that way it's Man. more enjoyable to watch. And then you know just and then it's stop motion all wrapped in one. So you learning how to do fight scenes, learning how to do stop motion, and just all around learning the character as you're doing it. So I'm like, yeah, if you want to start, start off with fight scenes. Start off with the fights. That's mm-hmm. actually good. Yeah, like yeah. That's a good, uh, good piece of advice, brother. For real. Uh, so now you've been saying yeah. you, you you're saying you've been collecting for a while. So now I'm gonna go and get into some kind of off questions that I got on the top of my head. Now that I got got to know you a little bit, because like I said, I've been I've been dying to pick your brain and kind of sit with you, man. Uh, so you've been collecting for a while. Do you have any grail pieces in your collection, or is there any pieces where you're like, this is off limits? I won't touch this thing. I cannot mess it up. I don't. I just got to stay as is. Well, see, well, I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say yeah. Okay. Um, that's the thing too. It's like, um, it's it, it's sitting in here. I wish I could grab it, but I gotta open it up. But it's the um. What's his name? It's Holocaust. I, oh, I got okay. that figure, and that I, I do plan on using Holocaust when I do my uh, X Men Age of Apocalypse film. Okay. But like, that's the figure where it's kind of like, I'm I'm gonna use this figure once. And that's gonna be the end of it. And then, yeah, because mm-hmm. like that that's a really good figure. I like I like that figure a lot. Um, and then that's probably one of my probably one of my most expensive ones if I can be honest with you oh wow like yeah like that's probably one of my most expensive ones because uh not even my toy biz galactic figures not even like you know it's like yeah. under that figure. now I got another question um, for you in terms of your sets when you build your sets yeah. is it set up just on a table or do you kind of get creative you have to set up on the floor sometimes what, what, what's like yeah. what's your... sometimes it'll be well, not some majority of the time. It'll be on the floor. Okay. Um, like when I do those those scenes where it's like in the city, that's all on, on the, floor. the floor. Um, the only time I would film like the only time I would film like a hot like up is if it's like a small diorama. Like I got this rooftop okay. diorama that I use. I just set that up because it's you know it's yeah small and set it up high to kind of film and give off the illusion mm-hmm. of it being, being high. high yeah hell yeah i do i yeah. love the camera magic i love the 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 tricks that you got going on it's, it's smart like i said because when i'm watching your things yeah. you, you you have a good way of hiding things and making it seem like you're on a high on a on the ledge of a building and, and things of that nature it's very good dude like i said yeah. very well very well put together like so i don't want to blow smoke up your ass because i'm just but i'm just like very honored to be sitting here with you because I, i've been watching very carefully and I've been watching like the stop motion just progressively get better and better and better I'm just like oh man this guy's so good and it's so consistent like you when you say it's gonna come out it comes out it's not you know bullshit you know it's one of those things I like it, uh, yeah cause it's like I don't know it's I, I got like this I got like this real structured thing when it comes to okay this film is coming out here and like it's set I ain't like you know like that's just how it is because I don't know like, and that's that's one thing that I know I do get a lot like a lot like a lot of people kind of they say the same they say the same thing like yo man like your stuff is consistent like yeah like yo like and then and then they also say like man it's consistent but you have me on the edge of my seat because it's like I want to know what's gonna happen next, next. <laughs> like, like literally like right now like right now, I'm in the I'm in the middle of filming episode four of season two of Spider Man. Right, man. Right on. And yeah, and, and so after uploading episode three, people like Black Cat, she's coming back. Like Love Triangle, like what's what's going on? What's about to happen? Because because as as you know, right now in my universe, I've got it where um, Peter and MJ they're engaged. They're about to, they're getting married. Yeah. So, like, whoa, Felicia, this is about to be crazy. Love triangle is about to be crazy. It throws an element of drama in there. It, yeah, it definitely... Of course, it's going to be tough. Hell yeah, it throws, a, it throws a great element of drama in your story when you had the love triangle and everything. Yeah. So I'm yeah. excited for that, dude. Um, 
I had a question that I really wanted to ask just now, and I lost it. Oh, fuck, who was it? But anyway, uh, now, when you... Uh, uh, yeah, it'll come back to me. Now, you said you were involved in professional wrestling. Did you not say yeah. that? Okay. Uh, how long and when did that happen? Like, when did you get started? What wrestling school did you go to and everything like that? Well, that's, that's the thing. It, was, it wasn't even professional. It was really just like me and my friends backyard wrestling. Oh, so you just, he uh, like okay. His, he had like, um, yeah, he had like his, he had like his own ring set up in his backyard. Okay. And, oh man, we would just pop like, man, we would be outside for hours. Just scenarios, rivalries, and just made it like, man, <laughs> and it was, it was fun. So, and like, honestly, and, Doing that, and I think I was like maybe 13, 14. Okay. Like jumping off the top. I'm Jeff Hardy. Like, it was fun. <laughs> and I kind of held, held on to that because I'm like, okay, I'm going to put this on pause. I'm going to come back to this. Okay. So, okay. Like, I'm going to like, once I do stop motion, I, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to come back to this. Do, do you still watch wrestling? Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah? Do you have any... uh? Do, do you have any favorites? Do you do, do you uh, do you watch any of the old stuff, or is it just kind of the new shit? Uh, oh, no, oh no, man! I, oh, dude, student of the game. Wrestling. Yeah, student of the game, huh? Man, when it comes to wrestling, oh man, like bro, you can ask my favorite team. I'm gonna tell you DX, <laughs> and I'm not I'm not just talking Triple H and Shawn Michaels. I mean DX, DX, DX. Triple H, Shawn Michaels. Mm-hmm. The New Age Outlaws, China, and X Pop DX. All uh, right on. DX DX. Yeah. yeah. I'm a, I'm a, like I said, I'm an older gentleman. I was born in '82, so I, I like watched it all. You know, I saw, um, yeah, I saw it all. I saw Sat. My favorite wrestler will always be Randy Savage. He was my guy from, from, from the day I could watch it to the day he, unfortunately, passed away. Um, but I, I got, I, my itch was, um. It was, uh, I'll never forget it. It was uh, uh, Shawn Michaels versus Big Daddy Cool Diesel from 1996. Good friends, better enemies. I watched that match, and I said to myself right then and there, I want to be a pro wrestler. I, I have to do it. I have to be involved in it, yeah. And I trained with uh, with Tony DeVito of the Baldies from ECW. Yeah. And uh, I, I, at the same time, was running my own backyard thing. So I was doing kind of the same thing. And I wanted just, I had my own wrestling ring and everything, and I just wanted to, to learn how to do everything correctly so that I can just run my, yeah. so I can run my stuff right. And in doing that, I just, I kind of, I, I met some other guys, uh, Ace Pro Wrestling, based out of New Jersey. A shout out to Ace. Um, they kind of trained me a little bit more and, and honed my skills in terms of being a promoter because I, I got very close with the guy who owned the place. Uh, uh, and yeah. uh, his name uh, Mike Morgan. And then from there, I just got I stayed involved in the wrestling business a very long time. I, I've I've trained with I trained with I don't know if you, you are you familiar with the Indies? A little bit. I okay. Mean, a little bit. Uh, uh, Bill uh, Bill Carr who's Dutch. He's on AEW with the the guy with the dreads, Vincent. Oh man! I trained with him, and uh, you know, I knew he was gonna make it. He was he's six fucking five. Like he's gonna make it. <laughs> you know, he like, can't, can't be that big and not make it. So. Um, and, and I still, I love Bill. I love you, buddy. But he made it, and uh, I just stayed involved with it. And then eventually, I uh, unfortunately got hurt on my day job, which is my question came back to me, by the way. I'll ask you in a second. But um, I got hurt on my day job, and then the doctor said, never again. Like, it just can't happen. Uh, and, yeah, and yeah. then so I just kind of, you know, you go into a hole, and you find yourself in that hole, you know? So that's where I found yeah. production, filmmaking, and just, like, like the action figure collecting yeah, habit, yeah. you know so uh but yeah man i wanted to see where you've been at wrestling dude like if you ever want to get back into wrestling i don't know where you're located or where about you're located but we can i can always make i can help you make that happen yeah that, that's the thing because like um like i said I, I was doing the backyard wrestling my like literally oh man i, I remember the name i had it was, the name i had was crazy <laughs> but it, the but the name came from a spider-man villain oh, and I, my name was chameleon because I, I like because I, I would mimic your finisher move and like that's uh, how I would like 
Yeah. Okay. So it's not 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 it's not a bad angle, by the way. He's a yeah. It's not it's not a bad angle. I like what I like what you had to get there. It was pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. It was just like, and then I had like I had the mask. Um, the mask was it was because I don't I really love the I really love the luchadors and I love the luchador mask. Okay. And I, I really love what the mask means. Like, yeah. Means deeply the me. Yeah. And. I have a lot of respect for like what it what the mask was. So I had like my own and like and like I hear I hear Ray Mysterio say it and I hear like a other lot of, like a lot of luchadors say they say the their mask it tells a story. And it and does. So, yeah. And so yeah, so like my chameleon mask, it kinda had like it had like a like a like a little thing almost kinda like Sin Cara's mask where it had like the eagle thing going yeah. up. And so um the design that I had in it it was like, it would like the design would kind of shift from like, like a red, like the tip, like the tip of it would be red, and then it shift to like blue, and so that was kind of me, kind of saying like, kind of going from like a like a hot headed era of myself to like a mellow cool, cool era calm. of myself. Kind of, I had the meaning of it is. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, when I, I was really explosive. Let's just say that I was explosive. <laughs> um. But like now, like I said, I'm, I'm 24, and it's like now I got, I, I kind of managed to know how to mellow myself out and just kind right of calm, you know, yeah. calm down. Yeah. So, but you, trust me, yo, wrestling, that that that's not going nowhere. I do plan on jumping back into that, like honestly. Yeah. Oh, dude, like I said, you got you got to talk. I'll, we'll talk more if you want, and we'll fuck. Yeah. And I, I, you know, like I said, we'll we'll discuss that after the thing. But uh, my question was. Do you have a uh, do you have do you have a day job and does that get in the way of the stop motion stuff or is it like after a long day you really don't feel like doing stop motion and stuff like that? Oh oh no literally no 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 like it don't no I literally just do stop motion all day and like hell yeah I just go and help my like I help my friend like he got like this like construction renovated type of thing where we just go in the house and bust down walls. Oh, right on. Put up work. No, that's literally what, yeah, that's really what I do. So, like, it don't get in the way at all, and then I get paid really, really good, too, because, like, we, we do a good job helping out people doing that, so it, it don't get in the way at all. That's why it's, like, I'm able to get stuff out and done at a hell good yeah. rate, you know? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Because yeah, don't get in the way. Well, that's good to know, man, because, like yeah. I said, I'm always I'm always excited to know when the next one's coming. <laughs> yeah. So, literally, right now, literally working on episode four right now um so uh, what's what do you got cooking up if you i mean don't give everything away don't don't give anything like any big time storylines away but what can you give us if, if i if i could ask you right now like come on john john give, give me a little something what do you got cooking up oh uh, well well I, i've uh i did i did upload like on my community post i did upload the reveal for phase for, for this phase phase almost said phase three <laughs> phase four right on um and as you know this phase is the multiverse of madness phase yeah um but like i do have i do have eight phases plan. i got eight phases planned let me just like say that i got eight I, yeah i got eight phases planned awesome um and as you see each phase they have like 15 yeah different films so so i got i got some stuff coming that's i got some good stuff awesome coming. Now, uh, do you have any? Uh, are you excited for any new lines? Uh, actually, actually, yeah, I am. Um, there's there's that Iron Man what uh line wave that came out that yeah. I really uh I'm really was kind of enjoying and looking at. Um, now that's the thing though with that line, I'm not gonna get everything in that wave because I I, just think I don't need everything in that wave. I feel the same way. Um, yeah, like like it's like now with all the figures that I got, I, it's like I'm kind of good, and I, it's like now I'm only getting figures that I need for films. Okay, that's kind of like now. Um, and so uh, the only figures in that Iron Man wave that I'm gonna be getting is the She Hulk, the Whiplash, and then the Count Nefaria. Oh yeah, and that's it. That's that's the only figures I need. Um. Because Count Nefaria, that's another Avengers movie that I know I can do. Yeah. Uh, Whiplash, that's that can be Iron, that can be the Invincible Iron Man too. 
Yeah. Oh, Hell yeah. I like how your mind yeah. works. Like when you see the figures, you're already <laughs> seeing stories. Yeah, because like, yeah, because I don't know. It's just like, like I said, my knowledge of Marvel, it, it goes, goes deep. far back. It's like, I, I know origins of different heroes, origins of different, you know, characters. I know, like, like it's a, this is crazy, too, because one time I was in, like, this group chat, and people was like, one person was like, hey, what's, who, who are the original X-Men? And, and instantly, I knew exactly who are the, the original five are. Yeah. And everybody did the same thing. Everybody saying, oh, it's Cyclops, Gene, Wolverine, and I'd be like, no. No, yeah, no. The original five X Factor. That's Cyclops, Gene, Beast, Angel, Iceman. Yeah. That's the original five. And I'm just like, man, it's, it's so. And then whenever I do an X Men film, I, I always try to have them five. If I don't, if, even if I don't have them in one scene, I want people to see them at least once. At once. least once. You pay homage and to the so, originals. I like that. Yeah. So I try to just I try to keep them incorporated as much as I can. Sometimes I may so even if they are on the round, I have them get reference like, hey, like where's Warren? Yeah. And they're like, oh, with Cyclops, he's with Psylocke. They're doing their little honeymoon. You know, I yeah. try to keep them involved. Now but, you said, uh, remind me what phase you're on right now? Phase three. You're, you're phase on four. Phase, phase four. four. So you you said you have eight planned. I, yeah, I got eight phases planned. Yeah. Oh, wow. So you already know the, the uh, villain and, and, and basically how it's going to play out, or is it just kind of like fermenting in your head right now? Oh, I, I already know what I already know what the phase is going to be. Like, like phase five, phase five, that's going to be Secret Invasion. Okay. And um, I'm doing Secret Invasion because after seeing what they did with it in the <laughs> MCU... <laughs> Yeah, I know. Trust me, I get it. <laughs> like, nah. No. <laughs> yeah. So, and then that's the thing, too. With the way how they did it in the MCU, the MCU made it as if the Secret Invasion was just like this small thing. And the Secret Invasion, it really wasn't. No, yeah, it Secret was big. In, Secret Invasion, yeah, Secret Invasion was this, it was a huge event that spread through multiple comics. I'm talking... Spider-Man, X-Men, Daredevil, like it spread through multiple comics. And so with Secret Invasion being such of a big event as it was in the book, I'm like, well, I'm going to just do what they didn't do. I'm going to do a whole phase where phase, you know, phase five, I have 15 films and each film would just be involved in Secret Invasion. Invasion. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. But like I said, it's brilliant, man. Uh, what you said you're deep into comics. What is your favorite comic series? Is it X Men, Spider Man, Avengers? Oh man, uh, shoot. <laughs> it, yeah, I, yeah. Favorite comic? Yeah, I would probably be Amazing Spider Man. Okay. Uh, Avengers, of course, but like I, I like all the older old um, books. What they're doing now with the comics now, I don't really. I don't really like the direction that they're trying to go in with certain with some of the characters that they're doing now. Okay. But I do read some of the newer comics now. Like I read like Black Panther. I read some of his newer ones. Um, I read Blaze. Some of his like Blaze up to date now stuff. Um, Spider Man, Miles Morales, and stuff. And, and like X Men: The Avengers. You know, those are the, the comics that I read now. Okay. Yeah. Right on, dude. Do, do you watch anybody else's stop motion, or do you just kind of stick it to your? You don't really kind of pay no uh, mind. Yeah. I watch, like, that's the thing. I get that question a lot, too, because people be like, oh, Spider Boy, do you know who they yeah. are? I know who they are. I know who these people are. Um, I watch, a, I watch, that's the thing. I watch a few of them. I watch a few of them. Like, I watch um, people be, oh, man, I remember even getting asked, hey, Spider Boy, are you and Swag Wave ever collab? And I'm just like, I don't know. You know, man. I don't know. Um, yeah. But I do watch Swag Wave here and there, Trick Shot here and there. Uh, another one, uh, his name is Marquez Films. I watch his stuff. Um, there's another guy that's doing some good stuff, the animation. I uh, just, me. I just spoke to him about doing this show. Yeah. So me, yeah, me, uh, me and the animations, we we did plan to do a collab like now with my multiverse thing. Yeah. Um, but I know he got his like thing going with. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. So, I kind of don't want to disrupt it, you know. I got so you. Yeah. Like, 
Yeah, so it's kind of like, but we, we, yeah, me and him, we did plan to, to collab and do like a little, um, a little like, because I'm doing a multiverse. So I'm like, yeah. you know what, let me, let me poke at other people's universes. And just say, and why not? Yeah, it's great. It's a great idea. Yeah, and at the, but at the same time, I still want to poke at the comic book, other comic book universes. You yeah, know? so absolutely. I just kind of it all up. Yeah. Do you watch? Um, now, nah, like I said, I always want I always want to ask this to the stop motion guys now too. Um, do you know about this stuff called play motion? Do you know about that? Play motion. Yeah, it's whole like a whole nother thing. Like, see, when I went down the the stop motion hole, um, I started doing stop motion myself. I have a very short stop motion film on my channel, um, and I like doing it. And I want to do it again, but I did notice that it's a it's a process, man. There's a lot of pictures and stuff, so I kind of wanted to speed it up. So I started. Well, excuse me. I started watching different stuff, and then I found this thing called play motion, where people are the hand is in the shot. Like they're actually, like, it's essentially like you're playing with the figure. But it, if done seriously, which I saw from this one gentleman, uh, you know, Mike the Hunter 203, it, it, you don't even realize the hands are there anymore. If like if the story is good, so yeah. I just always, so I tried my hand at that. So I tried my hand at both, and I will tell you, they both have their positives and they both have their obviously negatives, obviously, right? Yeah. But um, yeah. if you ever get a chance, check them out. Check out some of those play motion videos because you kind of see where you can maybe get a workaround with yeah. certain things. So instead of like, oh, I have to stop motion this scene, you might be able to kind of blend play motion and stop motion just so you can maybe save some time and then get like and get uh, 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 get around things quicker. That's that's why yeah. I, was, I was always going to point that out, man. But it's a good workaround for real. But yeah. I don't know. It's heavy. It's all my figures in there. But uh, but yeah, I um, I, you know, I I don't I, I didn't really get into that too much. That's something I'm gonna have to check out now. Dude, I for real. I'm telling you, man. I, I I don't I don't like to put myself over, but I made one. I could even link you after this is done. I'll send I'll send a link to you, and I'll send you yeah. a link. I'll send you a link to the guy who got me into it. And and like I said, you like you just watch them. No, I'm not saying do them. Or I'm not saying that it's better or anything like that. Please, if anybody's watching, don't think I'm saying that. What I'm saying is is. For you, what you're doing for your process, if you see something in there, you could probably because that's how I figured. Like I could maybe mix the two together and speed things up. So that's that's why I wanted to pass that knowledge on to you guys. Just maybe you would probably do better than me. So just just yeah, to kind of yeah. maybe help you out with the workarounds, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. I'll um. Yeah. Send me that link. I'm. A, that's something I'm gonna have to check out. Yeah. For real. Yeah. For real, man. Hey. Uh. Listen. Uh. Spider Boy Sixteen. Uh. Aka John. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure to speak to you today, like for real, for real, man. And um, I'm so excited to see where you're going in terms of not only your stop motion, but your voice acting and everything else. You 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 have a very interesting story, and I would love to have you back. By the way, like I you know I don't this one wants to be the end. I would love to have you maybe. I would love to have you back in between maybe phases so we can just discuss your the stuff, man, because I love it. Um. If there is every anything I can do for you, because I do uh, diorama building and uh, customizing, so if you ever need any help, I would love to lend my hand to you and just help you out as yeah. a, as a friend, helping another friend. Same thing with voice acting. I did a lot. When I show you my my stuff, I did a lot of voice acting on it, and I always want to help other channels just because I just right. I, it's one of the things I've always wanted to do is voice acting as well. It's voice. another reason, like yeah. I said, it's another reason why I wanted to meet all you guys because I feel like we're kind of on the same page. Like, cause like, like I said, your stories, man, to me, and, and again, no blown smoke, man. It's better than some of the MCU movies. Like yeah, I, yeah. I watch it and I'm like, I'd rather watch this than that shit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'm just yeah. telling you, man, straight up, man. It's like I said, it was one of the reasons why I said I have to interview him. I have to get him on this, on this show. It, it's one of the reasons I started this program. I really wanted to talk to him first um, and tell him yeah. that he's the, one of the reasons why I even wanted to attempt Stop motion, um, and I tip my cap to you, the fact that you continue to do because it it's very tedious, but it can be difficult. So it's like one, one of those things where you got to have patience and you got to have talent, and you have both in spades, brother, for real. So I got to, like, tip my cap to you. No, oh, like, honestly, man, oh, my goodness. It, my, bro, my girl, man, um, she, 
be kind of like like you have like you have so much pa- like literally, that's literally what my girl be saying. You have so much patience. Hey, for real. And I'm just and see to to other people, they be like shocked. And me, I'm just like I'm just like I just be like what? It's <laughs> like, just a, it's just another day at the office for you. Literally, this is like <laughs> bro, this is another day at the office. Like what are you talking about? Patience. <laughs> what is that? Like not even knowing. Like not even knowing. Yeah. But um. But yeah, it's yeah. Oh man, I, that's another thing too. And people always said that like. Spider Boy, some of the stuff you're doing, like Kevin needs to con Marvel needs to contact you, and I'm just like, hey, I. You're there waiting, I'm, right? <laughs> like what I'm like, you know, and then. I'm telling you though, you 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 have a knack for it, like um, it's like, like I said, I feel like action figure stop motion is very niche in terms of it's a very small fan base or audience, but you have them, and you have them all, and and it's. It shows, man, and I think you're only going to go up, and you're going to be on the same level with all those other guys who have like millions of views. I think you're on your way, man, because you're, you're you're consistent, and that's one thing. Yeah. I you, you one one thing you always you always see about the YouTube game is the consistency and and the storytelling is there. So, like yeah. from, from from one, I, I'm not as not as good as you. I would consider you a, a very advanced to a pro level stop motion guy at this point. I'm a novice. Right. Um, and from like this novice to a pro, man, I, you're an inspiration, brother, for real. So, yeah, appreciate, ah, man, appreciate. It. I swear, it's like, man, people, people. I, I tell, I get, and that's the, that's why I'm gonna get back to, you, man, because it's like starting this off. I've never thought I'd be inspiring like anybody. Like I'm, yo, I'm just this, just this nerdy dude. <laughs> got pictures, making a move and talk by themselves. I like. I, like you know, like like I said, I when I first started, when I like when I really initially started, I was bro, I was teens, I was in high school just doing stuff, and then graduated high school, and then I started I started doing it more and more, and then people would be like, yo, Spider Boy, I I gave up doing stop motion, and then I saw you, and I'm now I'm back into it heavy again, or oh, then yeah. people like Spider Boy, you really inspired me to want to try and want to like even. Even if I inspire people to even try, that's that's more that's more than enough to even ask because it's like at least you you trying and then some of them say oh man like 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 I said people say they gave up and started back and it's like me like I said me I I wasn't even thinking like I'm like oh man I'm doing this to inspire people Hell I'm yeah. doing this for funny not this none nah man I was doing this because it's fun I like Marvel. You know, that's I, that's usually how I notice how it comes through though. That's how you develop the fan yeah. base because you're not really making it to try to garner a fan base. You're not trying to make it to to build to build any kind of financial gain. You're building it because you love to do this and you just have something up here that you just want to see on a screen, and you just right. work until it's done. And you don't realize that it's gonna touch somebody across the country, across the world, and make them think, "Oh my God, I, this is exactly what I've always wanted to do as well." You know, and and it's 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 a I've noticed it's a pretty heavy feeling, like when you yeah yeah <clears throat> like wow. like wow like like I don't know it's like it I try to keep myself humbled about it but at the same time it's like I can't help but feel like oh man like that that feel it feels like you know what yeah. I'm saying? it's like oh, yeah that feels good just gives you a warm feeling all over brother it, it, I I totally understand it yeah yeah it's like I'm. I'm inspiring people in a, in a positive way. I'm not trying to push you no know, negativity or nothing. I'm just like, yo, look, you can do this too. If you just try hard enough. It's, it's, you know, it, you can do anything. If you try hard. Hard enough, hell yeah. Nothing's impossible. Nothing is hard. Yeah, uh, you ever need anything? Whether it's the, like I said, I build dioramas. I, 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 so if you ever need anything and I got it, dude, I'll just let me know where to send it. And I, I can send it to you, whatever. Like for real, man. Oh yeah. Cause I'm always yeah. working on something. So if you catch, if you, yeah, if you catch something on my channel that I'm working on, you're like, oh shit, I like kind of like that. Just hit me up. Cause a lot of times I use it to just, cause I do photography as well as the play motion, stop motion stuff. So usually I just use it for what I'm using it for, and then it either sits in the garage or on a shelf. So if I can give it to somebody else and let them get some use out of it, um, I'm always up for that. Yeah, cause yeah, cause man, that's the thing. It was like I'd be like. 
sometimes I'd be wanting like some damaged building type of type of like you know I would want some of those and I oh man, I'm a, I'm a most definitely probably be needing some damaged buildings because I got World War Hulk coming up. I saw, I saw I that. that yeah, I saw that. Well, I am because uh, currently I'm filming the second part of my st- uh, my play motion film because I'm doing it in parts kind of like you and connecting it too. Like I said, you kind of inspired me, brother. It's like for real. So like I'm uh, connecting a bunch of stuff, but I'm also I'm a big crossover guy. So I cross over a lot of stuff. But um, I'm making a cityscape soon. So once I'm done with it, I it's just gonna sit here. So I'll like I said, I'll, you'll be the first person I hit up. And this, this way I'll, I'll, I'll oh, yeah. yeah, this way I'll send you whatever you need, man. For real, like I said, uh, I'll just let you know because oh, yeah. at some point it's gonna get destroyed anyway because I'm gonna do the same thing to it. So I'll, I'll let you have it, man. Right. For real, like I don't, I don't know if it's gonna be yeah. within the timeline of when you're filming. I don't want to hold you up. But if you haven't needed for future projects, which I'm sure you will, the offer will always be there. You know, don't don't worry. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Cause that yeah, I don't know. That's oh, man. Yeah, like, yeah. That that'd be a good yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I'm I'm literally now like you got a friend here, man. You got like a friend for life. Whenever you do this kind of stuff for oh. me, you do me a huge favor. You like you said it yourself before. It's the first time you've ever actually done something like this so to grace me with the first means the world man thank you very much yeah like and that's that's the thing i've been i've been asked to like hey like can you and i don't know it's i think it's like because i'm a really i'm really like introverted i guess i'm really introverted i guess I, i'm really to myself most of the time yeah um you know it, it irritates my girl sometimes like she gets a little irritated sometimes with it <laughs> but you know, it's like I, I can't help that. It's like ah, I'm gonna break out of it. So I'm like, you know what? And then that's what I'm saying. When you um, when you send me the message saying, hey, I'm like, you know what? Let me, let me overcome another challenge. Let me break out of this and just Shell you know man. what I'm saying and try to. Well, listen. If it makes if it makes you feel any better, I have the same anxieties. And sitting here yeah. getting ready to send you the link, I had the same. Cause I'm worried too. I'm I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I'm afraid I'm gonna be boring or I'm gonna not gonna be able to hold the conversation long enough. So trust me, buddy. I had the same anxieties and I had the same problems. And <laughs> it's just when you come in the room and we see that we're kind of the same person going through the same things, we're into the same stuff. That's kind of what gets yeah, me it, through it, man. Right. Yeah. yeah. It, it like man, it really does. It helps. For real. It helps. It helps a lot. Cause it's like I don't know. It's it, I'm even thinking sometimes like man. Like how, like how did I even get in relationships? Like, cause I'm so to myself. Mm-hmm. It's like, how did I even get relationships? Yeah. Um. It happened. It happens usually by happy accidents. Like you don't, you don't expect it to happen, and they just happen. That's usually what would that. Yeah, yeah, it just happens. It's Man. like I don't know. I, I don't question it though. I, I, I try. I stop questioning. It. Yeah. Now. Exactly. That's what happened to me with this thing. I started this channel just thinking I wanted to meet like-minded people. I wanted to meet people who were kind of in, in, into doing the same thing, and I just wanted to talk to them one on one, and just kind of realize that wow. I'm not I'm not alone, and I got friends out there in the game doing the same thing, and in doing so, I've gained a lot of friends already. You know, so it's it's once you face the challenge, you start to realize that it's happening by accident, but it's because you have a great personality and you're a great person, and people see that and they pick up on it real quick. Right, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So it's like, think, I, yeah. I guess that's that, that. That just explained how I got in a relationship. <laughs> I, that I, for the long time I was unable to explain it. Yeah, like I said, I, I've 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 dealt with I've dealt with this issue for a very very long time. I have the same yeah. issue being an introvert. I hate to leave my house. It's one of the reasons why I started the whole stop motion thing too, because I would rather work with figures than people. So like, because I used to I was doing the filmmaking thing, and I just didn't like actors. I didn't like the whole. The whole aspect of working with people. So when, once I realized about stop motion and things like that, it was just like a light bulb went off. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it, yeah. Stop motion. Oh, stop motion. That was a. That was a really like stop motion and comics were really like my. Uh, Outlet. Kind of like my. It was almost kind of like a like my escape and yeah. my safe zone, like wrapped in one. 
It was, yeah. it was like, I can escape here, but at the same time, I'm also in my zone. So it's like, I'm like, I'm, I'm leaving home, but not, it's like, it's like, for me, comics and doing stop motion was kind of like, it's kind of like sitting on your front porch. It's like you're, you're leaving home, but you're still home. Exactly. You know? So you're, you know, I, I tend to tell people all the time that whenever I pick an action figure up, my first immediate feeling is that that feeling I got when I was sitting at, on the floor in my living room when I was a kid with my parents on a couch watching TV. It's just this safe space that immediately yeah. gets washed over you and you just you, you get taken away from everything. And in that moment, you, you, right, you yeah. just, you're in that safe space. For, for like, crow, yeah. Right, yeah, it's just like, just it's peace. That's a peace. Yeah, dude. It's just, well, listen. I'm I'm yeah. glad I'm glad that we are on this. I'm glad, dude. Uh, like I said, you have an ally here, and if you ever, yeah. I want you back on the show. I definitely want to do this the the phases because I'm definitely gonna. I guess I keep up on them every time they come out. I watch them, um, and I always oh. rewatch them. So because I tend to miss things because again, I told you, heavily medicated, <laughs> so I tend to yeah. I tend to miss things. So I I always go back and watch them again and again. But I would love to sit with you, and kind of catalog each phase and just kind of go through the episodes okay. and to just say, what was you thinking here? What was the process here? And, uh, you know, why, why did you take the story oh, yeah. this way? You know? Oh, you know, that is, yeah, I love to do that. Like, honestly, I love to like break down scenes. I love to do that. That'd, that'd be fun. Hell yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I'll, I'll definitely start setting that up. Cause like I said, I'm gonna hold you to it. Cause I'm gonna start messaging you and then I'll just tell you like, we'll block it out. These are the, these are the shows I'm going to talk about. And we'll just right. go from there. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that'd be perfect. I love to do. I do that where I break the down scene. Oh yeah, I love to do that. Awesome. Because things that I did, they they had some crazy steps and breakdowns to them. Just I'm like, because after I film it, I'm like, how the hell did I film that? I don't yeah. know how. I don't even know how I be filming it. That's what I'm saying, and that's why I want I want to get in your head while you're watching it, or while you've just it's fresh, yeah. so I can see what yeah. you're going through. Yeah, man, hell, hell yeah, awesome, dude. Yeah, like, I, I like it. Boy, right? I be autopilot, like I don't, I, like, and then I'll get done, and then yeah. I'm like, that looks nice, but where did it come from? Where did it you come know, from? Like, it yeah. Nice. Where did it come from? Yeah. Dude, I, I'm I'm filming my I'm filming my play motion thing now, and I did the same thing. I was I was in the middle of filming it, and at the time I'm like, God, this looks, this is this guy looks so stupid, right? And then I put it all in the I put it all in the computer, and I I cut it all up, and I, you know, have it all nicely lined up, and then watched it, and yeah. then when it all made sense, I was like, that's why I did it, you know? Yeah. I, I, I look that there you go. <laughs> that's that's exactly what I was looking yeah. for. <laughs> Spider dropping down. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is one of probably the most crazy things ever. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. wow that's crazy. Yo, that is crazy. <laughs> Moving down, down like Tobey Maguire Spider. That yeah, for, uh, it's, 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 it's yeah. the damn, it's the damn so, summer, man. Everybody, all those bugs are coming around. I got them all over my house, too, man. <laughs> yeah. Man, but like, but yeah, like I said, I've been, yeah, I've been reading comics for. I even got some comics now, like, they're not even, they're not, no, no reprint. They're all like first, the first issue, first original. Oh, comics. right on, dude. Oh, um, yeah, like, um, like, uh, the first appearance of Carnage, that comic go for a nice, a nice pre, yeah, pre, pre, my pre bad. and it's a uh, reprint either. It's the, it's the original comic, too. So, <sighs> Yeah, the first. Yeah, these are these are no reprints. These are the uh, literal, the literal the first. Uh, Damn. First appearance. First That's issue, nice. And then I got. I believe, yeah, I believe this is the, the part two, the second one. Yeah. So, um, of course, I'm not doing nothing else with Carnage because Carnage is dead in my universe. Right. But, yeah. uh, but like you know, he's dead in my universe. <laughs> but. Uh, like, yeah, I got I got some good comics like just sitting over here. Like here go here go another good favorite comic story of mine. Oh hell yeah! Uh, the the Days of Future Past. Past. Yeah, that's a great one. Uh, got got this movie coming soon. War War Hulk. 
That's one of my favorite stories. That's why I was excited when I saw you doing that. I yeah. love, I love oh, World War Hulk. And then that's the thing too. Like, I'm not just well. I'm, I'm doing the World War Hulk, but I'm doing. I'm literally doing the full story. Like, I'm doing the story where he goes on. He goes to the planet. Oh, <clears throat> planet Hulk. Yeah. Yeah. I love that whole yeah, arc. That that whole arc was great. Yeah. Like man, I, I love that story. That's a really good story. And then I got like some good some good X Men comics over here. Like I got a. Uh, I got X Men, Mutant Genesis. This is hell yeah. Uh, oh, here go another. This is another one of my favorites. Here go the. This is the literal, literally the full uh, symbiote saga. Uh, symbiote saga, like this. Is the full oh movie. hell yeah! Every. I tend to go to buy. I go to Barnes and Noble and I buy those because uh, I I, rather, I I love the, the the book, the comics themselves, obviously. But sometimes, I just would rather wait for the big the big book that you can buy at the bookstore. Cause it just has the whole story yeah. in it. It's just easy that way. Like, I got the thick. Yeah. Superior Spider-Man. Spider -Man, hell yeah. Superior Spider-Man. Um, I'm most definitely gonna be getting that that newer one. That oh uh, yeah. So called. I'm getting that newer. I pre-ordered. Uh, uh, I, I I can tell you, I'm a big Wolverine guy, so I usually always pre-order the Wolverine. So I got two of those new ones that are coming out. Um. And then, uh, did you see what happened with the the Captain Marvel Target exclusive? No, I didn't. Oh, know. so yeah. she released as a she released as a Target exclusive, and she released for some reason I don't know how, why how this one slipped through the cracks, but it released on sale, like the pre order went up on sale. So like because Marvel Legends were on sale at that point, so instead of going up for the retail of twenty four twenty five bucks, it went up for like eighteen dollars. Yeah. So it immediately sold out. Everybody bought multiples of it. So now it's going on eBay yeah. for it's going on eBay for like a hundred bucks. Man. Yeah. Oh man, no, I didn't. I didn't even know that. Yeah, it's it's oh, crazy. God. Yeah, that, I don't like I don't like those I don't like those exclusives because they always you always get screwed over. Always, man. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you really. Yeah, it it drives me it drives me up a wall, man, because I. I just like I, I was big into Marvel Legends, and then I skewed right. to GI Joe Classified, and I got really I'm really into that. Um, and I yeah. I would I would, listen between you and me, you ever need like mercenaries, soldiers? The GI Joe Classifieds right. I mean pair well with Marvel Legends. So if you ever like, look, yeah. So if you ever need a, yeah. Cause that's the thing too. Cause um, when I was before before I sent out the script to my voice actor for uh, Captain America New World Hydra I was literally sitting there like man I, I would love I mean not not um oh man not Captain America New World Hydra when I filmed when I was working on the film for Bucky Barnes the Winter Soldier when I okay. was working on that film I, I was like man it'd be nice to have like some some just some regular soldiers just be, you know, just be trying to go after them and just capture them. Yeah. And I'm like, I could have grabbed, I could have went ahead and purchased like some Dalaverse figures, you know, like those Dalaverse militia soldiers. But I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, nah, because that's a bit. They they look a bit too tactical, you know. Yeah. I'm like, nah, that's a bit. So I'm like, let me see, what else could I use? And I'm like, those GI Joe classified figures. I'm like, that could, those could work. No, they those do. Trust work. me, they work. They work. Yeah. Val Valiverse, Valiverse pairs relatively well, but they do come with a lot of gear. They do. They do look very tactical. Yeah. Um, I, I also, yeah. if you, if you ever, if you ever, if you, if you buy an Ollie's, you know that store Ollie's Discount Center. Oh, no, if you ever, know. yeah, yeah, when you look that store up, Ollie's, they always have Marvel Legends for dirt cheap. So if you just need like to fill out your things, or if you need an army build. They sometimes have GI Joe Classified there. I don't like. Don't think that I'm. Oh, they're, they're always there because GI Joe Classified tends to sell out because people want an army build with them. But Ollie's will always have a good hookup in terms of figures. So if you need something that you just that you want, on a, like let's say there's a figure that you know is just going to sit on a on a peg in a store for months, so you just wait it out. It'll be at Ollie's for like nine dollars. At the, at the end, oh. yeah. So just. I'm just telling you, man. You just look up on your phone, Ollie's discount, discount stores in your area, and and you'll 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 be surprised as to what you find at those stores, man. 
be, oh man, no, yeah, that, yeah, I'm at, that's be, you put me on some stuff. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm trying, man. I like I said, I got, I got to give it back. <laughs> yeah, yo, you, yeah, you put me. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna check that out. That's another year. I'm gonna check that out. Also, dude, you never know what you find. Like I always find stuff at thrift stores. There's a a, a thrift store called Value Village. Um, they're like a chain thrift store, so they're around all over. You might be have one in your area where they have. I I found like vehicles. So if you want to have like a car or a truck, they might be Barbie scale, but their Barbie scale trucks and cars scale pretty well to to one twelve scale figure. Yeah. So they they're there. I found a I found a bunch there. Yeah, cause like, yeah, cause, oh man, cause I was, I've been window shopping for like vehicles and and mainly army vehicles, cause like, when I do World War Hawk, I, I want I want to have like some army mm. vehicles. I I, like I would go I would go to like like I said Thrift Value Village and see if they have like the Barbie, cause they have like Barbie SUVs. Yeah. This way you can paint them and you can beat them up, because they have a right. um. They have a, a, a Valor versus coming out with a truck. It's called the Vanguard, but it's a hundred. Yeah. It's one hundred eighty-four dollars. Um, it comes with a lot of stuff, but it's still kind of expensive. Yeah. It's an expensive thing for a, for a vehicle. But I, I mean, like like an idiot, I already pre-ordered it. <laughs> I, I got it coming in the zone, or whatever. Um, but like yeah. once I skewed into GI Joe, that was my problem because I collected GI Joe as a kid, the little ones. So once I skewed off into GI Joe and they started making vehicles, buddy. That, I mean, I was all in, you know, I was like, oh my goodness. Like I have the, I have the, his tank behind me right now, you know? So I was, I was all in on it. So, um, but I like, I'm a very practical guy when I film. So I like to use of like, if there's going to be a car in the shot, I don't want to like put like a CGI car or like a background. I want an actual car there in the shot. So I start to get into collecting 112 scale cars. So, and that's where I was lucked out. I went to value village and I found a bunch of Barbie in those monster high vehicle, they were all there, and they were like five to ten dollars tops, man. You'd be shocked what you could find at those. And they have like antique doll houses, and if you have a need for like Aunt May's house, or like a house in, in the Queens for Spider Man, you might luck out because I've lucked out a few times at those places, man. Oh, yo, cause yeah, cause that's the thing, cause it's like, like with the thing with like how I did Aunt May's house, I just kind of. I kind of maneuvered and shrunk down the the mansion, extreme sets mansion. Diary. Okay, that yeah. Moved. Like, and it's it's weird too because even though I know I didn't have to do that, I kind of because I can draw, I can draw well too. I can draw really good. Oh, nice. Dude. I drew, yeah, I, I can draw really good. I drew like a blueprint on how Aunt May on like how Aunt May house looks, and so it's like. It's, it's crazy. I don't know. It's crazy how it all worked out so well. How because I, I didn't expect it to work out as well as it well, did. Yeah. It, it out well. And so if you if you go and watch episode three, and you will see like a certain scene where Peter is like in Aunt May's house. I got the stairs up against the wall. Yeah. The coat hanger and then the, the the door that leads to the dining room. Then if you look into that scene, it's a door that leads to the kitchen. Yeah. So, and I I really just. Set up. That's brilliant, dude. For real. Yeah. I usually yeah. make when I make my sets like I, I I got like I said, I go crazy in terms of like when I was building the sets for my thing, I had to have yeah. everything everything had to be practical. So I got little lamps and my I use my phone and my iPad as computer screens so that they'll create actual ambient light for the for the figure. Yeah. Or I'll, yeah. I'll, yeah, because I, I just tell my tell my wife, like, when she watches me, she, she says the same thing to me that your girl says to you. You have insane patience to sit here yeah. and place, like, a little lamp on a desk and make sure it lights up and, and like this the way it has to be lit. Because I, I told her, I was like, I'm very, I like things contrasty. So I like things dark with shadows. I like to create an air right. of mystery when I shoot this stuff. So I want, and it's, a, it's an espionage film because it has G.I. Joe classified in there. They're investigating cobra so it's got espionage to it so it should have that dark that like dark shadowy feeling at least that's how i feel as a filmmaker you know so yeah. to me everybody has their own art style and that's how like that's how mine is but like dude when i tell you the play motion just it, it leaps and bounce just jumped over in terms of stop because i was able to speed up through scenes 
And to then when I released it to get all the positive feedback I got on it, everybody was like, yo, I don't even notice your hands halfway through the movie because you just, the, sh- the story is there. And I add, I add every ounce of sound effect I possibly can. So all the way down to them sitting in a chair. You hear the chair move, the, yeah. the leather moving as they move. You hear like things clanging when they walk. I, want, I don't want you to see the hand. I want you to just kind of take in what's there, which is the music, the, the sounds, and the story itself. You know, that, that's really what, and I came from, like I said, watching you, watching Vanimation films. He's another one of my favorites, man. I love watching him. A uh, uh, Leo legend, right? I love watching these yeah. guys. They're, 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 you know, the guys' stories, I like seriousness, like, because this is superhero right. stuff. You know, it's already, it's already silly because you're playing with action figures. So to make the story right. serious to me is the only thing that makes sense. Because then, because right. if you're silly with it, then you're just like you just said. It's like it's robot chicken. I don't want to do that. Right. Exactly. You know, I want you to enjoy the story that I'm telling, and I don't want to be like I have to be a silly goose to to tell it. Yeah. yeah. So my my yeah. thing goes all the way down to practicality. I want you to like said like though that looks like a mini movie, man. He has everything. Like I build everything, but then like I was telling you, I tend to just shelve it when it's done because it's like well i just made it for this specific scene that i had in my head and now what am i going to do with it and my like i got yelled at by my wife because i was throwing a lot of dioramas out i was just tossing them in the trash and she was just like what the oh. fuck are you doing and i'm like well what am i going to do with this shit like you're a wrestling fan right i built i i built from scratch the buried alive set for the undertaker like a one a 112 scale and I, cause I do these things on my channel called one hitters where it's a one minute video of like different shots of a figure. And I just kind of tell the story with just photography, no, no movement or anything like that. And I, my undertaker is another one of my favorite guys all forever, forever. I love the dead man. And, uh, I had, I had just gotten the, uh, the old school one with the purple gloves and the, the, the coat from 1995 and six. Uh, uh, the, oh, the, yeah. the original Dead Man or whatever, and I just felt like he's yeah. that 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 Dead Man because that's the first one that wrestled in the Buried Alive against Mc McFo- against Mankind is synonymous with Buried Alive. I don't care what anybody says. So I had to right. pay. I wanted to pay homage. I wanted to nod that. So I made like a little like I said, made the the, the dirt. It, it looks textured like dirt, like a dirt mound, but it doesn't move anywhere. The hole is just perfect. You could fit that uh, Ringside Collectibles casket inside. So if you wanted to put the casket inside, you could. Um, it's flat, so you could stand figures on there if you wanted to pose them and do stuff. Um, and then it's, 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 so it has a spot where you could put a casket, too. So it, it's all set up. And if you're going to do your wrestling thing, I, I haven't thrown it out yet. It's big, but if you want it, I'll figure out a way to get it to you, for real. Like I said, I don't want to throw these things out because I feel like they're little art pieces of art themselves. And it's just like taking yeah. like a sculpt or something that you made and just tossing it in the trash. It's kind of fucked up. I'd rather give it away. I don't want to sell these things. I don't care to sell them. I'd rather just give it to another creator so that they get the same level of satisfaction I got out of it when I made my thing. So it's it's here. If you, like, I didn't know you would get involved in wrestling. Now that I know, I make the offer to you. I have it here if you want it. By all means, just let me. Like I said, message me. We'll work it out to you for real, and I'll, I'll send it your way. Yeah. Cause like that's the thing. Cause with my with my wrestling, I want to go. I want to go full. Oh yeah. Full out with it. like. I want the. I want the entrance. I yeah. want the, the. Did you did you see did you see the one guy who does it? Uh, uh WSC it's called. That yeah. guy right? It's fucking crazy how he does his stuff. Man, <laughs> yeah. Lights, the crowds. Man. I'm like, Man. The, the beautiful thing about those lights, you go on Timu, and you can get a lot of those small lights for cheap. So you can lock out and maybe score and build a good arena f- on the cheap. But yeah. So, I mean, listen, I... I like, that's like, I, like I said, I do my... Yeah, when I do my WWE, I want to go full-blown, like, arena. I want the arena. I want yeah. the locker room. I want to go. I want to go blown with it. Because, like... Cause I don't know. It's like I wanna, I wanna put the same energy I put into my Marvel. I wanna put it into my WWE. When I oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, oh man, and it, it'd be days where I'd be like, man, I can't wait to start my WWE. <laughs> like I'd be like, uh, but I, I can't rush. 
Are you gonna do like um? Are you gonna do like a uh, a current roster, or is it just gonna be like a generational roster where you have like guys from the old school? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, okay. It's going. Well, all I, all I could say to you is this, buddy. If you need if you need any voices for those guys, let me know. Cause I I've there's oh, yeah. a bunch of those guys that I've I've watched my whole life, and I can definitely give, I can definitely lend you my voice to some of those guys. Yeah. Oh yeah, most definitely. Like I'm a I'm a for sure. But like yo, can you do my Randy Savage? Like yo, I I have been I've been known to do a I've let I do I do live streams on Sunday nights uh, at seven, and last last Sunday I uh a guy you know a little medicine, and uh. I just started doing it because I have these glasses right here. They were a gift given to me because he's my favorite wrestler. So they, they gave me the Randy Savage shades as a gift. And uh, I, I put these yeah, I put these on and I get into character and I start the whole hand thing. And uh, last Sunday, the whole, end, the whole end of the stream, I'm sitting here like Randy Savage cut a promo on the guy in the chat who just like asked if I, I was. So I can do Randy pretty good. I can do a good Randy Savage if you need it, man. <laughs> For real. Yeah, in there. Definitely, because like, oh man, and that's 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 another thing too. I think I I've been feeling kind of bad sometimes too, because like, and that's the thing. I don't I don't ignore people's like requests to want to voice act for me. I don't ignore them. I be seeing them. Yeah. It's just I be having so much just going on, and like so many like yeah. just ideas. It's like kind of just get pushed back. You know, it it gets pushed back. Man, I get that so, totally. Yeah, cause like that's the thing. Cause when they when it's come to my my Marvel stuff, it's 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 just me. Like literally, I I it's like it's it's literally it's literally just me. I'm the editor, film director. Like, man, but you're the whole you, like, yeah, you're the whole shebang, man. Me. Everything everything goes through you, and then dude. But you know what? Like that's. That's the beautiful thing. Like, I feel the same way about my channel. Like I do everything. I do all the, the editing. I do all the sound effects, the music. I do everything from soup to nuts, right. the the thumbnail. Um, but like that's why I always, whenever I, whenever I, um, whenever I meet somebody in this in, in this community, whatever you want to call it now, is I always tell them like I, I'll lend you whatever I can because I know how hard it is. Like I know how stressful it is. So if there's something that I can take off your plate and make you just make your life easier, you know, I'll gladly help because I just want to, because I know how it would feel if somebody turned to me and said the same thing. Like, it would just be, oh, my God, thank you. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, like, man, because, like, it'd it, it be, because I ain't gonna lie, sometimes, sometimes I, I'll be sitting there and I, I forget. Yeah. Like, oh, like, oh, shoot, I got a thumbnail. I forgot to make a thumbnail. And so what I would do is, if I don't have a thumbnail like already planned and set out, I would just grab the comic book of the story that I just did and just recreate the comic book. Oh, shot, yeah. Uh, cover. Yeah. Yeah, and then thumbnail. Dude, that's um, brilliant, man. Like I said, you you, you yeah, got you got so you got you got a handle on this on this stuff for real, man. Like you're doing you're doing good stuff, man. I, yeah, I every time I watch it, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, I, so legit. Yeah, dude. yeah, man, like. It's crazy too, cause it's like I've been I've, I've been doing it I've been doing it for what four years something like that yeah yeah four years and so within that four year span four phases is is, is happening I got eight of them and it's like ah man and it's crazy too because it all started. Like I had, like I had no voice actors. It was literally just me. Um, I was scared to ask people to voice, but people was willing to voice. Um, I even had some good milestone achievements. Like I got my got my first female voice actor. I was so happy about that. <laughs> oh my goodness! I can finally have MJ really interact with the characters. You know? Yeah, for real. And so, yeah. And I think that's another thing too. A lot of people they be saying, "Oh man, yo, who's voicing MJ? Like who's voicing?" I'm like, "Hey, she's a good, she's a good friend of mine. She's a good voice actor. She really, be, she be killing it. She killed it. Um, no, she does it. She, she does a very good job. She did yeah, the, yeah, very good job. Like, yeah, she, yeah, she do, she do, she do a really good job. I think 
Um, her name is Deanna Star Seven. She do she do um she did my black cat. My, okay. She's doing my black cat Netflix episode four. Hell yeah. Uh, she, she did a uh, Spider Woman, Jessica Drew. Like she she did she did Jean. Side she did Sila. Like she do she do really good. You be so yeah you be surprised how quickly like all all it takes is just to ask. You know, you, you build up the anticipation of asking because you're afraid they're going to say no, or you're going to be bothering them or take them out of there, no matter what they're doing. And then before you know it, they're just like, yeah, absolutely, sure. Like, that's how I felt when I when I messaged you. I was like, yeah, he's just going to dismiss me. He ain't going to answer me. He's not, you know, he's going to no-sell me. You know, and I sent the message, and you were like, uh, yeah, absolutely, I'll do it. And I was just like, I was just taken back. And I was just like, oh, fucking, this is, this is awesome. You know, so it's just like I said, you never know until you ask, man. Yeah, cause that's yeah that's the thing, cause like, oh man, what was, I was, I was like texting my girl and sending her like little little stuff on uh on Instagram, and um, I saw your I saw your message roll in, and I was like, oh man, Legend series. I'm like that look, I'm like that look familiar. Like that looks familiar, cause and then when I answered to your message and then I went to your page, I'm like, oh I. That look familiar because I followed you. I'm like, oh, that, that knew that looked familiar. Yeah. And so I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I, I, I come on the podcast, and then like I said, it was that whole thing of breaking out of that, 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 like you know, mm. that, that nerd. Like, yeah. so I'm like, you know what? Nah, I gotta, I gotta, gotta break out of that. I gotta get used to being able to, because like I said, this is the first time that people will ever see my face. I, I've never shown my face. Hi, dude. I, I like, thank, thank you so much. Like for like to me, that yeah. that means a lot. In terms of just uh, uh, trust and comfortability, um, so like I said, I yeah. can't, I can't thank you enough. And I'm gonna be quite honest with you, I'm gonna keep this part and as an extra on on, on the thing. I'll probably yeah. I'll send you both, uh, obviously both links. But I'm gonna like after I stopped it, I'm gonna keep this because this came out real good too. Just us talking and, and shooting the shit, man. So I don't want to can this. I'm gonna, that's why yeah. I keep them still recording, man. Um, <laughs> but like legit, dude, I I was praying and hoping that we would we could develop a friendship or even just a, 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 a talking online, just whatever it is. Because like I said, I always have oh, questions yeah. in, when I'm doing my process. And if I could ever help you with anything, anything, like I said, no, don't worry about voice acting, don't worry about anything at all. Like even if you have questions about lighting, because I've done a lot of that stuff in film school and all that other shit. And like I said, I'm big on practical lighting. So if you, yeah. have, any, you have any questions, any help there, please do not hesitate to message me, man. For real, I'm here to help you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. No, cause that's that's the thing. Cause see me, that's this is. I feel like that. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Cause it's like, I've I've always managed to make friends. Like, I don't know. I I don't know. Cause it's like I'm like I said. I'm I'm a real I'm a real chill person. Like I know how to have a good laugh. I know how to joke. So I'm a real. I know. I I just like I'm a real chill person. So it's like this. Like this is. This is like this is cool. I, I this is this is gonna be good. Like this, this is like a this is literally, you you didn't you didn't you're it's like you're not even uh, how can I put it? It's like it's no longer being part of like the spider group. It's like you're you're at the head of the table with me. I like to I like to share the. I know, appreciate the, that. You know, that's kind of how. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that, brother. For real. Like, I said, I'm coming up. I'm yeah. I'm trying to just like I I don't have the big following on YouTube yet. I got a pretty decent on Instagram. I'm very happy with the the build, but it's a lot of it's through my photography. I do a lot of photography with with the figures, and I just felt like that wasn't enough. So I that's when I got into stop motion. But I always feel like I always have to tell the people who inspired me, thank you, right. because like I just wouldn't right. have done it had I not saw your work or had I not had you not sparked something. Where I was just like, yo, I have to do what he's doing. Like, it's like not exactly what he's doing, but he's telling a story with toys that just is amazing, and I want to tell my story and and just to see that, like, yeah, it's one of those things where it's just, I, I guess I started talking figures to talk to people like you, because I needed to, right? You know, and I'm happy I did, and I guess I want to develop friendships with you guys because I want to be able to exchange ideas, exchange. Uh, uh, films early. Hey, what do you think of this before I release it or whatever it is, just to kind of get each other's perspective because we're doing the same thing, so we can, we can bounce ideas off each yeah. other, you know. So I'm happy. I'm I'm so happy, dude, that I got to meet you. I'm so happy that this went so well because it went a much. 
I couldn't ex- like, I couldn't ask for a better interview with you today, man. For real, like this went perfect, and I just can't wait to do. I can't wait to do many, many more with you, man. Like I said, you're in my, you're in my inner circle now, bud. So I'm start sending you links to toys. That <laughs> I'll start sending you all kinds oh. of crazy shit, dude. For real, because, like I said, oh, yeah. you're in my circle like, now. So uh, I, I got you, man. For real, oh, yeah. like whatever you need, I got. Like I just bought which we we'll call it um, the the Marvel uh, uh adaptoid figure. Did you see that one? The big green guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. That guy, Just Guy, is over here. Marvel. Oh, man. I wanted to get, like, at least two of them. I wanted to get two of Marvel with that boy. This guy right here, right? Yeah. This thing is sick, man. I, 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 it was, he was on the Daily Deals, I think, or he's on clearance on Big Bad Toys. So go check it out over there. You might be able to grab one. One or two, however, whatever's in your budget, but... That's why I was able to grab him because yeah. he was on sale. Yeah, that's yeah, that's. I, I told myself, I'm like, yo, I wanted to, I wanted to get at least two of those, at least just just two of them, because with the Marvel adapt toys, I mean them, uh, well, the Marvel adapt, those adapt toys, those 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 things are already dangerous. Just be just just one. Yeah. Like, I, those I kind of look at those adapt toys as like the that's like the. the that's like the Sentinels for the X-Men. That's how I look at the the adaptors are like the Sentinels for the Avengers. Avengers, yeah. And so just one of those, yeah, just one of those. They they're already dangerous. That was why that was one of the reasons why I bought it because I immediately like I'm like you, man. When I see figures, I I see a scene, I see a, a, a comic panel in my head. So I saw this and immediately saw the Avengers fighting them, and I'm like, oh man. I mean, I and and like you said, they're very powerful. They're like the equivalent to the Sentinel or like the Mega Sentinel, whatever you want to call it. And I'm like. I don't think I need multiple. I think I could kind of go with one, and that'll work. It's just as good. Yeah. So I figured, like, fucking, I'll, I'll pull, I pull the trigger. Yeah, like honestly, with those, with those adapt toys, I would get like. Now this is just me. I would yeah. get four of them. Nice. And then I would get four of them, and then I would, I would, oh man, I'd do the most craziest Avengers movie. I would have it where. The Avengers, like my Avengers lineup now. See, my Avengers, my my Avengers team now lineup now. As you know, it changed. <laughs> um, my uh, my the people, my Avengers lineup now is is of course the big three: yeah. Cap, Iron Man, Cap, Iron Man, Thor. Thor, yeah. And then I got I got Hawkeye, Ant Man, and Wasp. Right on. I would have it where it'd be like them, and then I would have the West Coast Avengers come in. And then try to find a way to get like the new Avengers to swoop into or some sort of way, and just have them kind of just tussle with those four adaptors. Huh. Or, or better yet, I'm doing the whole multiverse of madness thing. We've already seen what happened in uh, Quantum Madness. We got huh. sixteen ten Avengers, and then I will have all. And then we got the Game of Earth Avengers. Huh. I will have, and then my Avengers. Huh. I had all them. Fight them with that. Fight, that's that's a great that's a great idea, dude. Yeah, that's a great Kang, idea. Having where Kang is the one who created those, oh, and yeah. just fight those. Coming yeah. after them, dude. I love that idea. That's brilliant. I'm doing like I said. I'll tell you right now. I'll give you a heads up before I send you the link. Um, it's it's heavy GI Joe because I'm a big GI Joe fan. So it's GI it's called GI Joe Classified Rise of the Mutants. Now it's starting with the Ninja Turtles. That's how I'm starting it. But at the end, like I said, like, I'm doing like you do. At the end, I always have like a like an after credits or like right before the thing ends, it's going to have like a setup to the next episode. So right, um, yeah. I'm setting up where the G.I. Joe is going to get introduced to like superheroes and like, the X-Men and like the, the Ninja Turtles is like their first step into this giant mutant superhero universe that they didn't know existed until now so that's kind of and i'm like it's like it's like almost like the atom for me i'm starting it from scratch so like this didn't none of these people really exist everybody was in secret until the ninja ninja turtle thing kind of exposes everybody to what's going on in the world and shit like that yeah so i that's i just give you a heads up that's kind of where i'm going right now it's it's just very that's it's i'm just i just built the roots of the story because i'm I'm, I'm, I'm right now i'm working on part two um but I'm going. I'm going deep. Um, in terms of the stop motion, I, I'll send you a link to that too because I did like a small stop motion thing, 
and that is going to be another multiverse, but that's going to just remain within the masses of the universe. He-Man, I'm a huge He-Man fan. Uh, yeah, I love those figures, dude. If I could sit here and talk to you for another hour just about Masterverse, <laughs> I love those figures, man. Uh, but it's because when I was a kid, Conan the Barbarian was my favorite character, book, comic, whatever, because my f- father loved him. And my father kind of got me into the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, and that's how I kind of understood comic books and, and all of that stuff. Yeah. So uh, Conan will always hold a special place in my heart, and that he's tied, he's forever tied to He-Man because the toys were supposed to be for Conan, the Barbarian movie, but that was too violent, so they came up with He-Man instead. It was a whole, like, if you ever watched the toys that made us on Netflix, they explain it. So crazy. Um, so, like, that's why He-Man will always have a special place in my heart because he's kind of Conan and, and stuff like that. So oh, yeah. I, I wanted to do my stop motion stuff with that, but I love this play motion so much that I, I just, I don't know. But I'm going to send you the links. You please tell me what you think. Tell me uh, uh, how, I, how I did. Tell me if it was interesting. I would love to hear your feedback for real, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Like, because, like, see now, see, now you got me thinking about, like, other films. Because, see, that's the thing. I got other films that I plan to do, like, that's not Marvel. Okay. Like, I got, a, I got the, I got my Batman trilogy that I have. Oh, right on. And, yeah, I got a Batman trilogy. And then I got a Justice League movie that I got planned, and it's written down in my notes. And then I also have a, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle film that Hell I want to yeah. do. Um, and I got a horror film. I got a horror film that I want to do. Now the horror film, this was like a personal challenge, like for me, because with the horror film, I wanted to see if I'm able to jump scare people in stop motion like that's gonna be interesting like the same reaction I have watching like a, a regular horror film yeah they kind of get scared by the scene so if I'm able to do that in stop motion that's gonna be interesting so, I, I would love to see how you approach that yeah and so the movie the horror film that I was gonna do was it was gonna be The Ring cause I feel like <sighs> good choice I feel like that's a good horror film to kind of have people like like yeah. I'm shook a little bit. Yeah. So, of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and purchase the the Japanese. Uh, I think it's the the bonsai, uh, bon, bon, is it Bandai? Man. Queen, the Deku figure. Um, I'm gonna get that figure. It's like a it's like a hundred, hundreds, hundreds dollars, like a hundred something some change. I it's no worry. I don't know. Money money with me is not an issue. It's just <laughs> nice. I will say this. I will say this though. I have like a problem. I got like a procrastination problem. Like, <laughs> like I will sit there and say, "Okay, I'm gonna get that figure tomorrow," and don't get it. Don't get it. Like, <laughs> like it's it's, it's, uh, it's bad. It's, my procrastination is bad. I'm, I'm the I'm, I'm the opposite. I pre-order things without, and I don't remember that I pre-order stuff. Oh. And then all of a sudden, I go check my account, and I'm like, "What happened? To all my fucking money!" And then I look on Big Bad Toys and I have like four figures or six figures on their way and I didn't even remember because I don't check my email so I don't remember anything that's going on. Yeah. Like, that's how I got oh, caught up. Man. That's how I got caught up with the three pack uh, uh, Nick Fury, uh, Sharon Carter and Dum Dum Dugan because like one afternoon I'm in, the, I'm in the store with my girl and uh, I saw they announced that and I'm like, oh shit, like I always want, I, I don't have a Nick Fury so I always wanted like a good prominent comic Nick Fury and I just love the fact that he comes yeah. with he comes with the old school uh, Nick Fury and the and the new school Nick Fury. So I'm like, yo, man, this is this is exactly what I need. And I another figure I don't have, and I always for some reason wanted, and I can't explain why. Is Dum Dum Dugan? I don't know why that I always wanted that figure. I wanted him, and so I pre ordered it, yeah. completely forgot, and just I think last week all of a sudden I get pinged for seventy five dollars, and it's it's on its way now. And I'm like, ah, shit. I was like, all right, well, I wanted it. Guess it's coming. Get yeah, right. <laughs> that's yeah, that's the thing because it's like the um I got I got you know the 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 ultimate Nick Fury and I got the other Nick Fury as well like I got this Nick Fury yeah and then hold on give me this where you at oh, this thing is pretty sick man I find what you but I got the other Nick Fury as well, though. Yeah. Um, it's not, it's, you know, the, you know uh, the, uh, it's the other Nick Fury that came with the two other heads. Heads, yeah. Everybody yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
I know, I know the one you're talking about. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm happy like for like the remakes of these figures because a lot of the times I missed out on the first uh, the first released figures. So I'm happy to see that they're yeah. remaking a lot of these guys. Like yeah, like I um, I didn't I didn't miss out on this remake. I yeah. did. I do have the first one. Yeah. But it, but the this this figure this remake of the uh oh that cat love that cat yeah. I got I got the uh, I got the original one. But okay. when they came out with this one, I was like, oh no. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I said yeah nah. I have a habit. I have a habit of telling myself that I'm not buying variants. I refuse. Like I'm just. I just need one Captain America, and then all of a sudden something like that comes out. I'm like, God damn it! I need him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, man, yeah. Man, like, y'all have to drop this. Like, yo, same thing. Like that's the same thing with with this Ant Man. Like, I got, yeah. I got the the retro card one, and then I'm like, okay, I'm like, okay, cool. I got me uh, Hank Pym. Yeah. But this Ant Man in my universe, this is Scott Lang and Hank uh, Pym is yellow. Like, yeah. But I'm like, oh man, cool. I got Hank Pym. Oh, I'm good. They're gonna and get me. Uh, they're gonna get me with that two pack with with uh, Ant Man and Wasp that just came out. That was supposed to be with the Giant Man. I might get yeah. that. I might. I might get that. Um, I'm definitely looking for the um. What's that? Uh, uh, Zuma Zuma Build a Figure pack with the because it. Uh, I want that saber tooth tiger so bad. Yo. Yeah. That's, that's another wave. See, man, see, you got my brain seeing comic book stories to see. The second that the second that I saw that wave, I instantly thought Savage Land. Hell yeah. Instantly. My brain said X Men Savage Land. And Hell I was yeah. like, yep. And, and another, another thing, too, is like, because uh, the customizer in me immediately sees things when I see certain figures and seeing that. Uh, uh, what's his name? The guy, the 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 guy from the Savage Land. Wow, what's his name? That comes with the tiger. Kazar. Kazar immediately saw. Oh, you can Conan. You can make a Conan the Barbarian out of that figure. You can you can make like a Savage He Man out of that figure. There's so many. There was just so many ideas that ran through my head when I saw that particular figure. And he poses real well from what I've seen on like reviews yeah, and stuff. Like, yeah, I saw like people posing up. I'm like, oh man, that that figure got some really good articulation. Like. Yeah. For real, for real. I'm like, that's a yeah, and I'm like, yeah, that's that's a figure that I'm gonna need, and his saber tooth tiger, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need all that. That's Savage Land all day. I don't really do, I don't really do the waves, but that one, like, cause I, for some reason I'm getting into to animals, and and like, yeah. uh, like I say, animals and vehicles, I'm getting really big into now because, like I said, there's only but so many variants of the same figure you can have before you just like, yeah. all right, I don't need another one of these. Um, so now I'm just trying to like get things that I don't. Like for instance, like things from my childhood now that are kind of sparking interest. Like right now, I'm looking for the RoboCop that came with the chair. So I'm looking for like that kind of stuff because I have everything. Else. Yeah. I mean, buddy, when I tell you my collection is out of control because it's just like, oh my god, they made this now. I gotta get this, like, you know. And and before you know it, it just you have no space to do anything, to do anything. It's, it's yeah. just filled with all kinds of crap. No. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, because that's the thing. Because it's like. The only time I would ever complete a wave is if is if only if I need to build a figure. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly, um, exactly. Um, what's his name? Ah, uh, man. Uh, da, 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 da. I can't remember his name, but he's a Serpent Society member. Oh, the big Viper guy, right? Viper or some shit like that. He's a big yeah, fellow, man. I got Viper. That's Madam Hydra. Oh, okay. Man, what's his name? What is his name? The, the Serpent Society build a figure member. I, I got the torso, head, and leg. What is his name? Oh, I don't Because I, I got all the. Okay. I got King Cole. Yeah. I got, yeah, I got King, the leader. I got Cottonmouth, Constrictor, Rock Python, Eel. I just can't remember. Sometimes they sometimes they get you with that. And it's annoying. Like they put a builder figure, so you need to complete like a a group or a faction, and you're just like, God damn it, right. man! And I gotta buy this whole wave just for this stupid figure. Yeah, just right. They did that shit with X Force and Strong Guy, which really annoyed me. Like I feel like yeah. they could they could have made like a deluxe Strong Guy by himself. Like this whole like sometimes I I understand build. I would be cool build a figures if it was like build a Sentinel, build like something big. 
you know, something cool like that, I'd be okay with that. But like when it comes to like regular size figures, you can give me a deluxe box and just maybe charge forty dollars. I'll pay for it. You know, like it's, I don't yeah, need yeah. it. And that's that's what they had. That's one of the reasons why I was really, like, like I said, I got, I got two Thanos. I got the the Infinity War Thanos, and then the the, the Thanos when he's in the gold look. I got both of those. Yeah. But like, the 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 second that they dropped that deluxe one, I didn't procrastinate on that. I said, yo, that's that's gotta happen. Are you are you referring are you referring to the one that came with the King Thanos head? And the Infinity Gauntlet yeah. hands. Oh, I love that Thanos. He's still a prominently on my shelf. I never take him off. I love that Thanos. Man, I, I really love. I really love. I really love that Thanos, and I had. I, I love filming with that Thanos too. Um, even when I filmed that that scene at the end of Phase Two, it was like the end credit scene at the end of Rise of Modoc. We see Thanos sitting on his throne on Titan in space with Nebula standing next to him. Yeah. Galactus, you know, that whole scene, that's probably top 10 favorite scene I think I filmed in any film. Hell yeah. Just because. I love that yeah. you, 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 have, you, you, you create an, ep, an, an like, a, like a level of epicness to it. So it has yeah. like this. Be like somebody said to me um, uh, on one of these episodes, like they were talking about the one hitters I do. And they said the one thing they notice is like when I shoot like a wide shot or extreme wide, it looks like a movie set. It looks like, like legit. And I say that that's what yeah. you want. You want to create like that epicness, that, that like world building feeling. Yeah. And, and so as long as you achieve that, what you do is, is that, like I said, it, it takes away from any mistake, anything you might miss. Cause like I said, once you start building a correct story and you, you have certain things in place, I tell people this all the time, especially being in the production game. Um, if video is kind of shitty, but you could kind of hide things, people will stick around. But if audio is not good, they will turn it off immediately. They will not continue to watch it. So always make sure your audio is right. Make sure you have the right sound, the right sound effects. Everything is where it should be. And you people will then, their brain will trick them enough to erase things like hands or like our wires or anything like that in the shot. Yeah, exactly. Like, man. Out, yeah. I think uh, the, like that's the thing. Don't get me wrong. Every yeah. film I made, uh, the easiest films are the films where I'm doing like the the New York vigilante, street level hero. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's I think that's probably why I love Shang Chi so much, Shang Chi so much, because I didn't have to do too much flying or nothing <laughs> like that. Like he was, he's literally just a hand to hand master of kung fu just fights yeah because then once, once you once you have to eliminate the fact that you need wires and, and stuff like that it kind of makes it much easier that's another reason why i stuck with gi joe because a lot of it is not you know if, if anything's going to be airborne it's going to be vehicles it's not going to be like a guy flying but it, it, then there's there's the part of you the part of you that goes i got to challenge myself i want to do the flying figure part because i already have ideas and i will right. definitely send you my ideas so that you can use them too because i have ideas to shoot it where you'll hide a lot of the stuff. Like, you won't see anything, but you won't have to do stop motion. You can get, like, a flying effect. And I've practiced it already, and it does kind of work, but you just got to get real creative. And I guess like I'll explain that to you, like, offline or anything like that because I don't want to give all the secrets away. You know, but uh, it, it's really, it, 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 it works, trust me. And if you have the right tools, and I'll, I'll show you that too, you, you really get some good shots with it, man, and just eliminate all the bullshit, like the wires and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. I uh, uh, I can't thank again. I'm I'm I, I know I said this to you an hour ago, but because yeah. this this part was so good, I'm leaving it all in. It, it the conversation just got better afterwards, so uh, yeah. I'm gonna edit the the first part out, so you'll hear this at the end. I'm very sorry, but it's been an absolute pleasure to have Spider Boy 16 with me. Uh, not only did we dive into his great work, but we dived into just talking figures, man. That's what this, this show's about, just talking toys, talking action figures, the process, whatever we do with them and how we play with them and how we display them. Um, you can catch all his work at his YouTube channel, Spiderboy16. Uh, it's youtube.com slash Spiderboy16, and you'll find his amazing catalog of Marvel films. Um, as you heard him just during this podcast, he's going to do wrestling, and he's willing to do crossovers. Just let him know. Leave those comments for him. 
Like hit that that, that thumb a thumbs up button for him, and let him know that you're watching, that you're supporting, and uh, and just let him know what you want to see. And and this this young man will give you art like you've never seen before. Um, I'm very happy yeah. that um, I was able to gain a new friend. I was happy I was able to gain a new confidant and a, an acquaintance, uh, uh, just a person that I can bounce ideas off of, uh, a peer. So thank you so much for that, uh, for real, uh, uh, John. Um, this has oh, been yeah. this has been yeah. an extra long episode of Talking Figures. I know. And uh, is there anything else you want to say before we uh, before I say goodbye? Um, you know. Um, oh man, I was trying to do the Toby Maguire run. He uh, <laughs> did backflip. It was like, hey, you know, eat your green vegetables. Ah, <laughs> it was gonna be something like that. But um, but uh, but uh, uh, no, I just um, live life the fullest. Don't take none for granted, and patience. That's definitely the way to end this, man. Patience. Patience is the key word when it comes to, to art, for in general, or any art. Um, so this has been episode uh, 15 of Talking Figures. Uh, my name is Tony. This is Spider Boy 16. Until next time, keep on playing.